I'd be ready to go. He'd be ready to go, man. What up? What's going in? What's going on in the news, man? You know what I'm saying? People bear for us with this all day, every day. Shalom, Marsh. What's going on, brother? Get in here. You know what I mean? You brothers is wicked. You brothers up there palming on these brothers and everything. Oh, let's do the back. I thought that was Marsh. Shalom, man. You up there going hard on brothers out here, man. That's not in the spirit, brother. Yeah, it ain't in the spirit. Turn the volume up, I, I turned it up. Oh, okay. What's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's up? Uh, my phone my phone was dying. That's why I couldn't jump on here. Okay. I was trying to get the timeline. I mean, now the brother got beat up, snuck by from behind, brass knuckled up. Right? I mean, you first per I mean you second person talking to the brother. And then they do the uh the WWE Rumble Royal. And now down to get shot up at the camp. What's going on? That's, that's what's going on. Yeah, it's, it, it's ridiculous. Hey, man, I done reached out. I'm going to tell you, Mahar, I done reached out. And I'll show all my messages. That's one thing. I'll be transparent this shit. I'll show all my messages. I done reached out to Kanai. I done reached out to Nathaniel. I done reached out to Abby. Yeah, I done reached out to Hoshia's monkey ass. I done reached out to all of them. Hey, when I see the bad shit hit them, I reach out and send them blessings and whatnot. And and I'll be praying for them, and I'll be hoping. I'll be trying to make it easy for them to repent for what they did concerning me and Masharathia. They know they lied. The truth came out and whatnot. And I'll be trying to re I'll be trying to help them to repent and be like, let me make it easy. So, you know what I'm saying? That they won't do it. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm sure they'll look at this shit and be like, see, he done sent us text messages saying that he's sorry this shit happened the way it happened. I am sorry the way this shit happened. But that don't mean that you was right. Nigga, it means that you was wrong, and I'm trying to make it easy for you to repent, and you won't. You know what I'm saying? And then more stuff comes out. I'll let this stuff go when it comes to me and Monster. When it comes to us, I'll let this shit go. But then I get phone calls from brothers getting busted up, broken arms, and all this old shit. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm going to fight for the defenseless. So fuck it. Man, I see, man. You know how you, I see, man. Y'all been. That proud spirit, man. Y'all be in the news for some shit, man. Joyce Morgan back in the days. Joy. Joy. That was Joy. Joy Morgan. I was on their watch. Yeah. And, it, and real shit. And even when that when, when that stuff is going on, I'm like, man, you know what? If you got a, a congregation of people and one of them in there is crazy and shit, I can't charge you for him being crazy. I can't. That's just like me and you. Me and you. We. We brothers and whatnot, and one day I flip out, and I decide I'm about to, I'm about to hurt somebody. That ain't on you. That's on me. Now, somebody can charge that to you, you know what I'm saying, because, because you the elder and this, that, and the third, you older, and, 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 and but that ain't on you per se. Right. So I don't, I don't, I don't charge brothers with with goofy shit that other brothers do. But when the leadership in your shit does it, hey man, you kiss my ass, y'all niggas. That's the spirit that y'all in, and that's why that's those spirits gravitate towards you. Cause ain't nobody around me. They can say Judah Mac is this, that, and the third, or they can say Master Rocky is this, that, and the third. But they ain't saying there ain't nobody gonna say the brothers under Judah Mac and the brothers under Master Rocky is killed motherfuckers. They. Doing this and they doing that. They ain't gonna say that because that ain't the spirit that we that, that ain't the spirit that we push out there. That is the spirit them niggas push out there. Right. I mean at least brothers need to make public uh statements as an organization, you know what I'm saying, concerning these different things that's happening in their organization since they so heavily scrutinized anyway. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Because I remember <clears throat> the brother killed his 19-year-old wife, <clears throat> and they tried to put him on me. I was like, hold on, man. First of all, he, we've been not together for three years. That brother, I've been uh, moved out of Ohio and all that. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So don't try to put that on me. And I made sure that I brought the information out. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean... I rarely see them brothers make a public uh, statement concerning anything that's going on. Nah, nah, nah. hey, because it's, cow it's, it's cowardly. The only thing they the make public they statements make public about is if, if somebody says somebody something about Nathaniel. 
they'll be like, this is the bishop, and he's of the Lord. And, hey, these brothers are in idolatry like a mom. I didn't look at the shit, but they said they they march and they tang you in on a motherfucking donkey or uh, a horse. Are uh, you seen it? They marched him in on a horse like he was like he was the, like he was the Messiah. They marched him in and on a horse and they when they was doing all this shit when i was there i was like man this shit is not that's why when you look at passover videos with me and marshall there you ain't see me sitting up there with them even when i get caught i ain't sitting up there man this shit looks real bad they blowing trumpets and shit introducing the mighty hold up ain't this the lord's passover ain't this when we show humility and reverence to the lord what the fuck we introducing these niggas like they do Man, get the fuck, get the fuck out of here, man. Out of here, man. That was the beginning of the end for me. <laughs> oh, man. They, they ain't called you up, man. Blew the trumpet for the hours up. <laughs> man, they did not. Hey, hey, Moss. They tried to do that one time when they when they promoted me to the captain. Hey, they was... They they was, they, they was they was talking about where's Judah back? We gotta get Judah back up here like I was gonna be on that shit. Where was I at, man? Got there serving and shit, cooking and serving. They had to call me. Hey, they, 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 they was like, you a captain, and he was like, I appreciate it, and he walked off. <laughs> I walked off the stage. I ain't getting no speech. Give a fuck about that shit, nigga. I already been doing this shit. Fuck up out of here. You a captain? All right, great. Is that a pension coming with that? Do I get keys to a new car? Is it something that's gonna come with that? That's gonna make my life and my family better? And will I be able to stand to the? Will I be able to stand in front of the Most High and show them a piece of paper and be like, "Look, they made me a captain. I got an interest in the kingdom." Right. Like, get the fuck out of here. Right. Right. Captain, I had rank. I, uh, Jermaine was in it. Uh, my uh, Jermaine was in IUIC. He said he's at the 2015 IUIC Paso. IUIC had a, have a lot of people that came through those gates, though. Mm hmm. So I said, Judah Mac and Ma, stay on point. Keep up the work. All praise. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I mean, but, you know, there's other. The thing is, too, there's other congregation and all assemblies like these assemblies they be doing all kind of wicked ass shit but they never on the forefront they be doing all kind of shit bro but that's the one thing i i, I have a little biases about everybody say camp 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 but you know how big the assembly hebrews are they, yeah everywhere yeah, yeah. They, the, the pastor dolls the watchmen in the borough the the, the I am elites. You see what I'm saying? The niggas down in North Carolina. It's, it's mad at these niggas. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They had some damn, uh, at a concert not a couple years ago, they was up there strapped up and, and fighting and all kind of bad. It's down in um, Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? But nobody made a big old tr uh, a thing about that. You see what I'm saying? But I mean, but it was, people were talking about it. I ain't gonna say nobody said nothing about it, but you know, it's just it's Israel, man. Israel always been wicked, huh? We always been wicked. Yeah. That's why you keep your, your, why your circle you keep small. Your circle small. You know what I'm saying? R U I C P E D. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I want to make sure. Like, hold on, man. The brother that got shot, he was from R U I C. Yeah, he was R U I C. Ah, you talking about the brother that got shot? Yeah, he's from R U I C. That's not a good look, man. And have uh, these things back to back to back to backs. They and they they, they will not look at it like that's the judgment. When they in the IUIC, if somebody's going through bills, if they're going through uh, bad marriages, they'll be like, "See, the Lord is judging you. See, this shit keeps happening." The Lord, and I'm talking in in Nathaniel's voice. The Lord is judging you, bro. Who is that? The third. When something happened to them, they be like, "Satan has come against us. We are the people of the Lord. Something is coming against us." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of people do that, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people do that, man. They, 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 they're a cop of Job in them with the quickness. Hey, hey, niggas, it's going to be like, hey, something happened to you. Niggas be like, it's the judgment of the Lord. Something happened to you. Your, something happened to one of them niggas' grandmamas or one of them wives. If, if you dare say, judgment on the Lord, they be like, you evil. 
Do he? Yo, he boy, you gonna say judgment? Oh, but this shit happened to somebody else and it was calamity. Judgment of the Lord. When it happened to y'all, the devil is against us because we're so great. Get the fuck out of here, monk ass nigga. Yo, uh, uh, Kakama Moms did that, man. Her ass got, uh, uh and now she had ran away with my daughter, first of all, out of the state. Okay? And the judgment came the next day, grabbed her ass up in Chicago, locked her ass clean up for months, ending through in a psych ward. And when I said, I talked about the judge, he said, I'm going through my job. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop the shit, man. The Bozo took the baby from you from the damn birth, my nigga. Yeah, and remember she tried to call me. Yeah. That's yeah. one. Hey, that's one of the times that me and you really got tight. Cause I called you, too. and this is how everybody needs to know about me. If your wife called me on some bullshit, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to call to you, and I'm gonna find out if that's the truth. I call him. I'm like, this brother's a school teacher, elementary school teacher. He's trying to put this shit on him. Let me call him. I'm like, man, I gave him all the evidence. She was mad the motherfucker at me. I'm like, I don't give a shit. And then. Next thing you know, she's sitting out in front of the house, police locking her monkey ass up. That's what you get. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> Judgment. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, stop this shit. Nobody wanted to say the judgment of Pondawis, but for everybody else, man. So, I mean, listen. If a brother gets shot at the camp, okay? Right? People say, man's goings. <laughs> Of the Lord, yeah. the man's going. <laughs> and people say that all as a person say it all the time. Man's going. So if your ass go to jail, there you go. Man's going. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey. something you did. I mean, I just got locked. I just got locked up the other day. I ain't pay a goddamn insurance ticket. You know what I'm saying man's going. Man's going. I thought I was going to the Ozarks. <laughs> hey, I gave you the business. Hey, didn't I give you the business, though? I, 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 I gave you the business. I got the phone me and this dude was arguing and all that shit like that. And all of a sudden, I heard the police siren. <laughs> hey, hey, on. hey, 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 hey. So y'all know, he, he, what he's saying is correct. He's on the phone and he's trying to clown me. And I'm like, you should have did it this way. He's like, nah. Then I heard, whoop, whoop, whoop. And I said, oh. Oh, judgment of the Lord. Then he looked up in his rear view and seen, man, they really pulling me over. He had like, he was out, he was out within an hour. But I'm like, that's what you're asking. Judgment of the Lord, nigga. <laughs> yo, judgment. I said, yo, you ain't shit, man. You go. <laughs> I said, you ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, that nigga told me to get out the car. He told me to get out the car, come to the back. I said, man, this nigga about to lock me up, son. Look at my sister. Rachel. Okay. We was, I, was, I was trying to come down. We were trying to come down, you know, so people get off in like an hour. I got, I got, the, got to work. I got, work. The, I got the rental wheel. Ready to go. <laughs> you know what I'm Rachel saying? Getting up, I'm breaking that hand up in it. Better get it on. What are you making? What you make, girl? Fried fish with um, cabbage, steamed cabbage again, and the gravy from the brown stew chicken from yesterday. I did do that as a gravy first thing. All right, all right, over there doing it up, huh? You know what it is. Hey, hey, shout out to all you, uh, shout out to all you brothers whose wives don't cook. <laughs> Hey, uh, shout out to all you, hey, you beanie weenie you niggas. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to you beanie weenie eating motherfucking biscuit, microwave biscuit eating niggas. Your wives won't cook shit for you. Damn. I'm sorry. What's going on? Nah, brother's wives cook, brother. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, hey, it's a bunch of brothers who's going to look at this now and look at it later and be like, yeah. <laughs> they gonna hate it, nigga. They be like, nigga, you talking about me, nigga? I don't know that I'm talking about you. You do it. Convicted worlds. Convicted world.
Hey man, y'all, y'all, my sister be over there getting it in the kitchen. She be doing her thing. You know what I'm saying? Ah, man, it's bullshit. Hey, you can't say it. Hey, right, you can't have her bullshit talking about with some sweet tea on the side, too. So that's how I roll. Oh, yeah, so, uh, sweet tea. Hey, you did, Molly. Look it up. Look it up. It doesn't matter. Sweet tea. And Rachel Chiller, she was on the you doing soon. She was with some sweet tea on the side. Dang, save me some tea in the world. Hey, you don't want no tea. I want no tea. Uh, some twisted tea. Twisted tea. Te tequila tea. No, I don't want no twisted tea, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want no twisted tea, brother. Off. <laughs> hey, for real talk, though. These brothers. Brothers in the IUIC, man, this shit is ridiculous. That brother, uh, Hoshio, man, that was my, my dude. I was like, man, that's a real nigga. Me and him, he live in a different state, you know what I'm saying? But every time we hooked up, I thought that dude was a real dude because he was repenting from the same shit I was repenting from. That, 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 that violent, that motherfucking bullshit, you know what I'm saying? He was repenting from it, and we, we shared stories. When I seen him and how the people reacted to him that was in his state, they reacted with him with reverence, like, yeah, damn, they they got courage off the fact that he changed, so-called changed his life. And then after being so far into this butt-sniffing-ass bitch nigga shit with IUIC, he changed back in into a motherfucking mark, a worse nigga. Now, when he did this shit against me and stood up on the council against me, after saying that I was a good nigga, and he stood up against the council, and he stood up in the council against me, I was like, damn, nigga, are you serious? Like, shit, where's the protection? I get it, that's leadership, but everybody's fallible. Where's the protection? And he stood up right like, yeah, do the match, you know what I'm saying, do the match, you need to hump damn, and I'm like, Brother, we talked not too long. What the fuck are you talking about? Marshal Rafi will hit you up and ask you about me when the, in the midst of this shit, and you told him I was a great brother. What are you doing now? During the Passover, at the close of the Passover, you lying? You monkey-ass nigga? That's when I was like, man, I got no respect for these niggas. These niggas is smart. And I never went hard on Hosiah. You know what I'm saying? I, I went hard on them on the, on the sense of, I can't even say yeah, I did go hard on them. I did go hard on all of them niggas. Yeah, but I remember, remember I said when y'all was on not too long ago, when I was watching the IUIC, I said when I first saw the, I mean, on uh, Purple Rain, I said when I first really seen you, seen you, I said you was on the Purple Rain, man. And I said that track was, uh, that track was popping. The video was fire. Y'all was clapping back. I said your verse was fire. The young brother, which is Kanai, son, I guess, right? Son, yeah. Uh, uh, I said, uh, Abiel came over. Zion. Zion. Hey, Zion. Zion, that's his name. His shit was fire. That's the best verse on there to me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I said Abiel, he, he came off with it, and the other brother, he was he was he used to being more of a showman with all the you know. And then and then your man is your man Hosiah, man. I ain't I ain't understood a damn thing you were talking about. I said, man, I, he was weak, brother. Hey, hold up. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What did I tell you? you about this verse? What did I tell you? Yeah, you, you, said, said, you, said, you said you like this verse. You said that was your man. And the whole fucking night, he's a good dude and all that shit. That's why I'm saying it. Because I was like, I ain't even know. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I ain't even like his verse. You yeah, feel me? I was like, everybody I was like, said that shit. Everybody I talked to, they was like, what the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. I'm like, I'm like, y'all ain't listening. I hear his every word that he's saying. He was on point. He was fucking kicking that shit. That was one of my favorite verses. Zion, Zion's verse and Hosiah's verse was my favorite verses on that shit. Shit, I can't understand. All I heard was... Yeah, you gotta turn your ears up. Now you gotta turn your ears up. Yeah. It was just this look. Now I look at it and I'm like, it's monkey ass nigga. When I first, hey, when, I, when, he, when he first spit that shit, I'm like, that shit is fire. Everybody couldn't understand what he's saying, but I did. I'm like, yeah, that shit's fire because I knew where he was coming from. I'm like, man, that motherfucker, he's a fiery spirit. I always respected that shit. Me, that's the shit that I like. I like the fucking green gorilla niggas. That's why I did, you motherfucking nigga, because that's where I come from. 
Yeah, he definitely looked like a gorilla in that video, though, for real. Man. Yeah, yeah, he's a gorilla. I was, like, he, I was like, is he a ham sandwich, brother? What was he, Levi? What's going on? <laughs> nah, man, that nigga, that nigga, he just, he just, he just ugly. <laughs> Yeah, he's a real, he's a real, hey, I thought he was hey, a real hey, nigga, but he's a fucking, he's really a nigga. I said that shit to him, I was like, I thought you was a real nigga. He's like, that's the, that's the thing, I ain't no nigga, you a nigga. I'm like, no, I thought you was a real nigga, and you understand, don't be trying to play no semantics, you understand what I'm saying when I say you a real nigga, but I realize now that you really a nigga. Mm, really Motherfucker. a nigga. Yeah, that's all about it, really a nigga. Not a real nigga, this is a straight nigga. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Because I mean, for real, man, you gotta have some mercy, man. First of all, scripture said we don't split each strike as a man, right? You see what I'm saying? Y'all try to turn out the cheek and all that shit like that, whatever. And you know, listen, I've been in this war for years, 31, and I have not got to a physical punching, kicking, wrestling match with nobody in this truth. I pushed the brother one time because I was mad over the video game. Because <laughs> we always battle the video game. He didn't want to play me again. He got a little win off and bounce. And I pushed his ass. I was following his ass home and shit. Like, you a bitch ass nigga and all that. Because I always give you extra. That was some kid shit. You know what I'm saying? I pushed his ass. He was like, damn, boy, you going to push me? And I felt like a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I ain't never got to no fight. I ain't got no fight with no brother, man. Like, why the fuck? We're supposed to feel comfortable in the truth that we're not going to be putting hands on each other. I know brothers get out of their pocket. They say crazy shit. But it's, it's words. We understand scripture talking about the word, life and death, and the power of the tongue and all that. Okay. But you ain't going to be justified putting nobody to death for no for, the, for them talking. What scripture is that? Hey, what scripture is that you ain't going to get the judgment? Yeah. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Straight up, that's why I right. tell niggas, hey, I'm glad, hey, hey, this COVID shit, I'm gonna use it for my own regard. Hey, tell some distancing, niggas. If I know that you against me, stay not six feet, stay 12 feet. Because if you within six feet, I'm gonna cut your ass. If you within 12 feet, I'm gonna pop your ass. Don't not run up on me. Just get the fuck on, because I'm not gonna run up on you. I'm not gonna initiate no shit. I'm not gonna try to fucking hurt you. I know you got a family. I don't give a fuck how mad I am at you. You is just me and you in that moment. Same thing. I'm calling it down real quick. Yeah, put the code in. Same thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that because I'm going to walk away. Because if I get into my fit of rage and anger and I do something to you, how's that going to affect your family? You'll pay your bills, your children. I'm just walking the fuck out. Because... Because we men. This ain't like high school. We don't recover the same way. We don't deal with this shit the same way. We men. I, if I if I allow myself to get out of the spirit and fuck you up like what Hoshia's punk ass did, how does that, how does that affect your family and the things that you need to do and your well-being? You know what? It's better for me to just walk off. So when these niggas, when these niggas do this shit and they say they the men of the Lord, let fuck them. They ain't the men of the Lord. Them motherfuckers is infiltrators. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna praise you like in the world. Be like, yeah, you fucked that nigga up. I yeah, yeah, all that bullshit. <laughs> <shit. laughs> you wicked as hell, huh? Lord forbid. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Lord forbid. Hey, Lord forbid. And I'm gonna tell you, and look, this is, this is candy. Lord forbid. And this is how I stay all the time. Watch it, Jay. I say like, like it's all the fucking time. The last thing I wanna, thing do, I wanna do is hurt a brother or let a brother hurt me. Right. No, I said like that all the time. And if I'm not like that, I'm like it. I'm, I'm and I expect, yeah, yeah. I expect every brother. And I know you like that too. Hey, what's on your hip right now? No heart. Ain't on me right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm lacking. You ain't shit. <laughs> I can't. I can't have dropped the girls off over the over at the other house, man. I'm lacking. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the lack of life. Yeah, man. I, I tell you, this, this brother right here, my little brother, brother Judah, man, he a scrappy dude, man. He a scrappy dude. We playing around, wrestling, uh, doing all type of shit. He a scrappy dude, man. He ain't no weak ass nigga. He, I don't, don't be slipping, son. Uh, man. Don't be slipping. 
I gotta turn this. I gotta turn this in. I just gotta get out of here. Hey, you hear me, Judah? I told him don't What's be saying? slipping, man. Judah be pulling that knife out on you too. Yo, yo, he is. He's not a weak ass dude. Don't look at his size and think. Quick, quick you know don't get. Quick, don't get. Hey, don't get. Hey, one thing. One thing. You know. Hey, you know. And anybody around, know, around me know. I ain't scared, I know. Of, shit. I ain't scared I of shit. I ain't scared of shit. And now you all see. To not know that shit. Leave Judah Mac alone. He's a fucking. He's mean. He. I ain't scared of shit, but I am so loving. I love my brothers, man. I will fucking, I will bend over backwards. I will lose all my money for my brothers and and my sisters. Straight up, and my sisters. But I ain't no fucking bitch. No, don't come to me with that bullshit. I don't give a fuck how big you are, how great you think you are. I ain't on that shit. And I do not want no smoke. I don't want no beef. I don't want to fight nobody. I don't want to hurt nobody. And I pray don't nobody want to hurt me. But if you want that shit, nigga, I'm real, real quick to understand that that's what you want. I'm real, hey, man, real you, fucking man. quick. Yeah, this brother right here, man, he like he like to pass around, man. I know that's all I know. We pass around a lot, man. Brother, I'm two hundred and what? I'm a, I don't know if I'm still two ten, but you know what I'm saying. I know I outweigh the brother, but the brother, the brother is cocky as hell. I said, he lives, he a country boy, man. Yeah, Louisville. Hey, they nigga try to grab me exactly. up and was like, damn, nigga, like, you stronger than you say you are. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I mean? But you know, brothers ain't on that. Ain't trying to be, be on that bullshit, niggas. First of all, I'm, 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 I'm a fucking grown nigga. I'm on five old club, like I'm like with the OG segment. I'm not fuck with you, you young boys. I ain't scrap with you, young, young boys. I'm gonna put the no. box up no. No. no, no, no. Hot rocks. Can a man take fire in his bosoms? <laughs> no. no, I'm not doing that. Hey, I'm 47 years old this year. I am not wrestling with you young fucking buff niggas. Y'all aggressive buff niggas. I'm not doing that. What I'm going to tell you is, please, please do not come at me with that shit. I do not want to fight. I will take the load. You can call me all the bitch niggas you want to. But, and still, you come into this space, I am going to fucking hurt you in a way that you going to turn around and say, he shouldn't have did it like that. Don't fucking play with me. And then, if I hurt you, I will help you to recover. I'm not going to hurt you and walk off from you like I don't give a fuck. I'm going to help you to recover, and I pray that you don't try to retaliate on me because I'm not one that's going to knock you out, leave you in the street bleeding, and let the, the police deal with you. I'm one that's going to tell other brothers, come help. Come help. Let's make sure he's all right. Right. It was a time in our lives, man, that we would fight and we would fist fight and shit, and then everybody would make sure that everybody's okay. That shit is gone. And the evidence of that is the IUIC niggas and them pictures that I put up with the whole tire deal. Niggas is fucking marked. They don't love they people. They full of shit. They love you if you with IUIC, and they don't even love the IUIC niggas. Because as soon as you leave, they don't give a fuck about you. That brother was IUIC before, right? Yes. He was, I met him. He was a fixture in IUIC Memphis. He was the, the camera dude. He was a fixture in that. Him and Hoshai was close. So Hoshai is a bitch ass nigga for doing that shit. Hoshai should be like, man, I'm sorry. Hoshai should be in tears and be like, I'm sorry that that shit happened. What can I do? The leadership of IUIC should be fucking crucifying Hoshia right now and forcing him to repent and if he don't, fuck him. That's what they should be doing. But yeah. they didn't do that to, to Kanai. They didn't do that to Nathaniel. They didn't do that to that motherfucking Malachi uh, Malachi or Malachi, whatever one of them motherfucking Malachi's that's in uh, Atlanta. They ain't do that to none of them. Them niggas sweep under the carpet ass bitch niggas. They ridiculous. They sweep under the carpet world. They had a brother in uh, Florida in that Florida camp all the way down to Miami, he was running through all the worlds in there. <laughs> Look at that, brother. This was he was going through, going through the worlds up in the congregation over there. You know what I'm saying? But you know, how, you know how it is, man. 
You know what I'm saying? They're going to protect their own. That brother need to be fucking suspended, son. Huh? You know what I mean? How you how you going to knock a nigga out from behind and then beat them and keep beating them up? If that's the truth. I know that I'm, I'm not saying what you said is not the truth. But if that's the truth, that's some suck ass shit. You can't even do that shit in the organized sports. They don't let you do that shit. You don't hit a man while he down and all kind of wild ass shit, man. You trying to kill a nigga or something? Hey man, I done knocked out a few a few people. Now when I say I knocked out a few people, it's in my youth. Knocked out a few people. I don't stand over them and and beat them while they sleep. That is evil as shit. I don't give a fuck who you say you are. That's evil as shit. I ain't standing over no brother knocking them and, and, and I'm saying I'm a brother and I'm beating him to, to fucking death while he sleep. I'm not doing that. Breaking his arms and doing all that little shit. I'm not doing that just so I can say, yeah, this is how I am. You know, I'm a yeah, fucking weak ass I'm devil goon, motherfucker. Nigga. I'm a goon, nigga. You see what I did to this nigga? Don't fuck with me, yo. I'm not gonna judge. Hey, you reap what thou sowest, though. Believe that. Oh, he gonna. I ain't that. doing this shit. I ain't doing that shit. And then, even when I be talking about these. Hey, if I if I if you put me in a position where I gotta pop one of these motherfucking slugs off on you, nigga, I'm shooting at your legs, your knees. I'm putting you in wheelchairs, so you got a chance to repent. I ain't gonna send you to the Lord. I ain't sending you to the judgment seat. The only way I'm gonna do that is if I know that hey, I ain't got no other choice. I'm not sending you to the judgment seat. No way. No way. Shit. That shit is scary. Nigga, we all in this shit together. I make mistakes. I ain't gonna send you to the judgment seat. I wanna put you in a place where you gotta repent. I'm not going to send you to the judgment seat. I'm not going to beat you to death while you sleep. If somebody didn't pull Hoshai off his nigga, he would have died. Now that's what's up, brother. I felt that, man. I felt that, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 that, and I feel that's, that's real, man. That brother's like passion. I'm not going to try to... I'm not murdering you, bro. I'm not going to kill you, bro. No. 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 Listen, I don't want to kill nobody. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. No, I ain't want. I don't want to do that shit at all. You know what I'm saying? Now we at war, and it's some real war shit. You know what I'm saying? Fighting the enemies and all that, and that's what it is. But you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to fucking hurt nobody, dog. I don't want nobody to hurt, hurt me. Man, no, no, no way, no way, no fucking way. Okay. That's the reason I had to leave. Hey, when I was in Texas, that's the reason I left Texas. When all that shit happened, when I was on, on that bullshit, and he was like, I want to see Judah Mac bagging groceries and fucking, you know what I'm saying? He was like, basically, fuck my family or whatever. I had thoughts. I was like, man, I'm going to fucking hurt this nigga. I'm going to really, I'm, I'm going to see him in the grocery store. We're going to be at H-E-B, and I'm going to fuck his ass up. I'm going to catch him. And I, I was like, man, the devil's on me. I got to leave. And I didn't have the money to do that. All praises to the most. I had some brothers that was like, man, I'm about to donate the money so you can get the fuck up out of there. I had to leave because I knew the devil was on me. Because I was going to do some devil shit because that's where I came from. I was like, nah, I'm not doing that. I got to get the fuck up out of here. And it hurt my family. And my family was, was ripped from doing that, for having to leave like that and uprooting my, my fucking wife and children. And they was ripped for that. They was ripped. They was hurt for that. But I had to do it because I was going to do something stupid. And I'm like, no, I done came this far. I'm not doing that. I got to get the fuck up out of here. And it hurt me. It hurt my finances. It hurt everything. But I had to leave. So how the fuck do you find yourself as a man of the Lord, a captain, doing that to somebody? Piece of shit. You're a piece of shit, hypocrite ass nigga. Right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see my Ak Jeremiah talk about, man, you have to disappear. You know, the most eyes in control, though, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Vengeance is mine, he says. I know in the heart, in the, in the moment, we be ready to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the Negroes that's in the walk, you have no excuse for certain things, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do some shit like that, the most I'm going to execute some shit on you. Trust me, bro. And don't be too uh, surprised when you hear some shit go down in the news. That's all I got to say. Because that's why you telling niggas. I said, man, don't be fucking on crossing me up, yo. Turn go out. Crossing me up and trying to do me dirty, my nigga, because the most I can come get you, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Whether he gets you spiritually or physically, it's going, it's going down. You know what I'm saying? All I gotta do is sit back and watch the judgment. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be bugged out spiritually. They're not in the truth no more. Niggas got all kind of doctrines. 
You see what I'm saying? You know, it, it be, it's, it's humorous, man. All you got to do is sit back and let the most ideal, man. You know what I'm saying? He's going to get their ass. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I don't want. Hey, real shit. I don't want that. I don't want that. When I when I hear you say that, like, the most high going to get them. The most high's judgment is way worse than anybody getting shot, anybody getting beat up, anybody getting. The, the most high's judgment is worse. I don't want that. I don't want that for Hosiah. Yeah, I heard you. I don't want that for Hosiah. I don't want that for IUIC. I don't want that for Kanad, Nathaniel. When Nathaniel was, hey, Nathaniel was sick. It looked like he had cancer or some shit. He was on his, he was on his hospital bed and whatnot. Man, me and my family, I told my family, stop. We're going to pray for him because we did have a relationship with him. It was a certain time in my life, and I was like, shit, when he was different, it was a certain time in my life, I was like, shit, uh, this man is, 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 he's a man of the Lord. It was a time in my life, and I was like that. So even though all that, the old lying ass shit that he did, I was like, man, hold up, though. He's sick. What about, uh, uh Shemaya, uh, uh Shemaya, I forget the hey what's what's Nathaniel's wife's name, Rachel? Hey, what's right that what's Nathaniel's wife's name, Rachel? Nathaniel's wife. Shamaru. I said Shemaya. Shamar. I was like, man, shit, what what's gonna happen with her? His his children, his beautiful daughter. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen with them? If he end up dead and whatnot, I was like, nah, man, let's send up prayers, man. Let's fast for him. You know what I'm saying? Even though he still ain't repented for the fucking lying shit that he did, I still, I had a relationship with him at one point, so let's pray and fast for him. That don't mean that I ain't gonna still rebuke when he's on some bullshit. Right. Same way with Kanai and his beautiful family. He got a beautiful fucking family. I'm still gonna pray for them because even though they gotta follow these niggas, but they innocent in this shit in most cases. Until they grow up and then they become the same fucking devils that their daddies is. You know what I'm saying? But they innocent in this shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's pray for them. You know what I'm saying? That's what we supposed to be doing. Yeah, we you think them niggas rejoice. is doing that same shit? Fuck. Yeah, we should rejoice, man. That's why I did a little video for day then, you know, that or show some support to him. I mean, we all men, man. You know what I'm saying? We all in the walk, and we all fighting some type of different spiritual battles, man. But some things, man, you know what I mean? Brother still got to be like, you know, when it comes to with, dealing with other people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. It's just crazy. Yeah. It's just crazy. You know what I'm but, saying? I feel bad for the brother. I think they should make a public uh, uh, address this publicly. Because I never heard anything. They ain't about to do shit. I never heard hey. anything that came out with it. You don't. <laughs> they ain't about to do shit. Oh, the love world. But you don't love women. You hate women, brother. Yeah, that's right. Right, so I hate you, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. That was a hateful kid. Hey, on the, uh, uh, the keychain, uh, the hooks. Hey, so you going to? Oh, you got to protect them. All right, cool. That's right, Asa. So Asa, I'm going to beat his ass, too, still in that game. I'm going to twist it. Beat his ass. Yeah. Hey, these brothers is off, man. And they'll look at, hey, I remember, hey, when I, when I did a video, who that is? Boy, they coming from. Uh, is that Ephraim? Yeah, that's Ephraim, yeah. Is that Ephraim right there? Yeah, that's Ephraim. Hey, we, we, hey, hey yo, we in the pull up boys, man. Your reception is terrible. Hey, we in the pull up boys, man. We, 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 you know what I'm saying? We here, brother. Y'all cold right there, driver. You know what I'm saying? Cold. What's up, y'all cold? Where y'all at? Oh, Guy in Missouri, man, you in the copy world. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who out here? Who fighting outside, man? It sound like you. Where you at, man? Who fight? Who fight? Hey, hey. Yeah, load that up. Yeah, get Hold up. Hey, you got a whole lot of hey, hold up. You got a whole lot of energy, but it sounds like it's cutting out, it's robotic, and we ain't getting oh, it's cutting out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can hey, cut it out. We can hear you now. All right, go you ahead. Can hear me? Yeah. yeah. I, hey, well, we want to know what y'all talking about, man. We see the title. What what that we we tuned in late. What's going on, man? 
You talking about the uh, different uh, scenarios happen with IUIC, the brother from IUIC getting shot, the Royal Rumble with ISUBK, the, uh, the brother that just got beat down one, by one of their captains all crazy, you know what I'm saying, he snuck up behind him, knocked him out, whatever, and kept beating him up, broke his shit up and all that. Now, who beats a nigga up when he knocked the fuck out, dog? Like, who does that? Oh, so that that's something, that's something new. I, you ain't seen it. I yo, we we coming back from rebuking the White House, man. White House down. They caught. They got cocaine found in the West Wing of the White House. We rebuking bloody America. Babylon is falling. You know what I'm saying? We doing the will of the Most High. We standing up. Prophesying against Mount Sia, against Edom, you know what I'm saying? Bringing this bitch down, so we don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? We we beating down our enemies. We beating down our enemies. We fucking up our enemies. We beating the shit out of them with the word of the Lord. We drinking sour monkey. You know what I'm saying? We drinking. We chilling. We fucking up Esau. We beating Esau ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't beating our brother's asses. So, if, if, hey, hey, we got the tequila. We, yo, we on a road trip. We back, coming from D.C., back to Georgia. We fucking up our ops. Our real ops. See that now? We fucking up the ops, goddammit. So, y'all not, not beating up each other? Y'all not beating up your fellow brethren? Nah. We, we pray for our brothers. Hey. We pray for our brothers. Yeah, that's what y'all supposed to be doing. But hey, it's brothers out here that's beating each other's ass and they call themselves brothers. Hey man, goddamn Joe Biden sniffing coke in a west wing of the White House off a transgender's titty. You know what I'm saying? Off the nipple. Off the nipple of a transgender. Both of them. Both of the nipples. You know what I'm saying? We've got to focus. On the apps, god damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, I don't know what up. these hey, niggas doing. Hey, hey, April. April, I'm going to say this. Yeah. There is, is no opposition against Israel if Israel stand together. The scriptures say this. Cry loud. Lift up your voice like a trumpet and show who their transgressions. Who? My people. It didn't say... Cry loud, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show Esau, America, Moab. It said, show my people their transgressions. It also says, don't inquire how the wicked is going to be fucked up, but how the righteous shall be saved. The righteous going to be saved. The righteous are Israel. They're going to be saved by doing the right thing amongst each other. Cry loud, spread not, show my people their transgressions, because my people are the ones that's meant for the kingdom. My people are the ones that's meant for rulership. My people are the ones that's degenerate plants. My people are the ones that keep on fucking up. My people are the reason that I ain't came back yet. My people are fucking up. That's why I'm on right there. Fuck Esau. Fuck America. I don't give a fuck what they doing, because you know what? America ain't the one that's coming against me. They, they, they coming against the each other they doing what they supposed to do that's what they do their job is but when i get down to the nitty-gritty it's my people i gotta keep on fighting just like you ephraim it was your people that was coming against you calling you a weak ass nigga. it wasn't the white man they didn't give a fuck they sit back and let you do what the fuck what you was doing it was your people that was saying that you wasn't shit. you know what i'm saying so what we supposed to do is be focused on each other and not fucking accepting the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that. Yeah, go against the white man, but this is the white man's kingdom. You can't go against the white man in his kingdom. You can't go against the Chinese man in his kingdom. What the fuck is going on? The reason that we so fucked up is because we won't unite. We beating each other's asses. We doing dumb shit. That's what's going on. We can have all our little so-called battle wins and whatnot all we want to. But when it's all said and done, who fucking you up? Who took your kids? Who's who's broke your marriage up? Was it the white man? I was it with the, the a, a black sister. Was it the white man? I was it with your brother that, 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 that cast, cast your name out for evil. Was it the white man? I ain't with the white man shit because the white man. I got I got plenty of motherfucking white men that did me better than my own brother. 
I got land right now. I got played out of land from my brother, and then I got land from the white man, and I'm fucking secure. When your ways please the Lord, he will cause your enemies to be at peace with you and do you right. And then them become not enemies anymore. That's all praise, but that's why we have different offices. That's why we have different offices. Right, we definitely got different offices, and, and there's a balance to it all. Because the same prophets that was prophesying to our people, and I got to agree to disagree. The same prophets that prophesied to our people, this is what they said through the Lord. Through the Lord. Let's see what the Lord say. Go ahead, give me that. Ezekiel chapter 35, verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. The Lord said to Ezekiel, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Go ahead and prophesy against them. And prophesy right. against them. Go ahead and sing unto it. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. The Lord said to tell Mount Seir that he is against them. Thus saith the Lord. Okay? A false, a, a false balance is an abomination. And we're not dealing with that on this side. Fuck them crackers that gave you and helped you with that land. They can kiss my hairy ass. All right? Fuck them crackers. Good, bad, ugly. Even the crackers with melanin. Fuck them all. Okay? And yes, fuck the wicked of our people. But I'm going to pray for my people. Let's give the rest a head. Go ahead. And I will stretch out my hand against me. The Lord said to tell him he going to stretch that hand against them. And right while we were teaching the White House, the White House got caught with cocaine in that motherfucker. Okay? Cocaine in the fucking White House because they're all a bunch of crackheads and the White House is the new Carter. Okay? No Nino Brown. You got the motherfucking Sleepy Joes. Uh -huh. You got the sniffing Joes, you got the sloppy Joes, and all the motherfucking Joes. The transgender hey, hey. Joes. Hey. Hey, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. Hold on, let me go. And we not African. Wait a minute, one more time. Because you spoke a lot, King, and I got to agree to disagree. And I love you, Judah Mac. You my, you my, you my T.I. brother, man. I told brother, that's my T.I. nigga right there talking. No, I'm you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm like I ain't no T.I. I gotta stop y'all from saying that shit. I'm not no T.I. I'm not no T.I. I gotta stop y'all from saying that. Oh, no, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cut y'all like that. But I'm not a T.I. I'm do the man. Upon Mount Zion. The Lord saying, Savior shall come upon Mount Zion. Go ahead. To judge the Mount of Esau. To judge the Mount of Esau. Now, if you don't want to judge Esau, hey, the Lord got 7,000 other men that ain't bowed a knee to Baal yet. So it's all right. You don't got to judge them, but I take that job. It's a dirty job, but somebody got to right. do it. Every, and this yeah. is the thing. Yeah. And this is the thing. Everybody, everybody have an office. Everybody have an office. Everybody's not the head. Everybody not the foot. Everybody not the leg. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to have to have brothers that prophesy to Israel, right? Not just prophesy to Mount Zion. I mean, prophesy to the Mount Esau and prophesy to Babylon. But you're going to have the prophets that's going to prophesy against Israel, against the wicked of Israel. And that's what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? Because somebody got to do it amongst, amongst the believers. Somebody got to prophesy against them. So the brother, the soldiers that's out there, and you know I'm a soldier out there. You know what I'm saying? We prophesied, and Judah was a soldier out there that bang on Esau, bang on the sister. You see what I'm saying? And now, most of our move brothers to bang on the brothers with, with, within. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's going to come a time when some of you brothers that's been out in the highways and byways going to retire a little bit. And y'all going to start doing more classes. Y'all may just start doing a different office, whatever the case is. It's up to the most high. But like you said, Proverbs 11 and 1 and 2 is a balance. You got to have balance. Luke, Luke against 19, the 19th chapter. You know what I'm saying? 
having balance. You see what I'm saying? So all praise and glory to you brothers that went out there in the, in, 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 in the heart of Babylon, right? It was able to rebuke them and came out unscathed. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Come, ain't no problem. Y'all ain't get shot or nothing, right? Y'all didn't get shot or nothing, right? Y'all ain't get arrested. Y'all ain't get hurt. I stayed in the spirit. You stayed within the scriptures. Be justified in the scriptures. Now you brothers on the way home. You know what I'm saying? Most I bless that y'all get there safe. You know what I'm saying? And the whole nine, man. You know what I mean? So what we was talking about is a brother, um, IUIC, these, these incidents that's happening within the organization is like a recurring thing. It's back to back to back. And and I'm not I'm, not, I'm I haven't heard the leadership stepped up and made a public announcement concerning nothing. Hey, can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Because uh, you know, Ephraim, my brother Ephraim, thank you for that fiery spirit. You going, you doing your job. You're a zealot in the job that you're doing, and the brothers back there in the job that you're doing, and and what you said about I don't give a fuck about them motherfucking white people that did this, that, and the third for you on the land and whatnot. Hey, real talk, I I feel you, and and I ain't I ain't mad at that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, I get it, but there's a remnant of every nation in every part of creation that's going to be saved. They're going to love the Lord. They're going to do what the Lord say. There's a remnant. We don't know who they are. It might be one motherfucker from where you at right now in the car that you're in right now. It might be one motherfucker that's driving next to you that that be the remnant. And it might be one other motherfucker in, in Zimbabwe, this white Chinese or whatever, and that be a remnant. I'm going to read something real quick. This is uh, Amos. Chapter 9 and verse 11. In that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. In the days of old. That they may possess. That they may possess. The Israelites may possess. The remnant of Edom and all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that do it this. It's going to be a remnant of, of Edom that are still going to survive. After Obadiah, it's going to be a remnant of Edom that is going to be possessed. And all the other heathen that are called by his name, it's going to be a remnant of all the other nations that say they believe. They say that, hey, I want to do y'all right. I don't like what the fuck them other motherfuckers. My forefathers, I inherited lies. Fuck them. I want to do y'all right. It's going to be a remnant of that. Now, that's what I'm saying. So when you go real hard and be like, yeah, fuck all that and whoever did anything, well, okay, the scriptures say if you do right, the most High is going to your, cause your enemies to be at peace with you. To be at peace with you. The motherfuckers that hate you, go, come in. The motherfuckers that hate you ain't going to be at peace with you. And if you wise, if they trying to Act like they're at peace, you're going to be able to peep that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's a remnant of the other nations of God creation that are going to be at peace and they're going to want to serve God too. The arrogance, pride, and boastfulness of Israel is ridiculous. Oh, my nigga, we just Israel, we're going to kill everybody and fuck everybody. And now that's fucking ridiculous. And, and that's what you want to, because hey, I'm a fucking soldier when it comes to that shit. I'll go in. You know what I'm saying? And you can look at my timeline and know that I go in. But at some point, we got to have some kind of knowledge and be like, calm the fuck down. There's some people that actually give a fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say Hold on. Go ahead. Yeah, that's why I study him, man. Reading his fundamentals. Because when, uh, when you go to the book of Ezekiel, you read about the judgment for Ammon, for what they did to us. But guess what? When you read the book of Judith, who did they say? An Ammonite. The rest of them are going to get judgment. There's going to be some that say, I want to serve, and I want to keep the commandments, and I want to do what y'all do. So what did Judah them do? They didn't say, get the fuck out of here, because you're an Ammonite. They said, no, nah. they circumcised him, and then he kept the law. Get the fuck up out of here. Rahab. They told him when she was like, hey, man, y'all the Israelites. I'm a fucking hoe. I'm a hoe, and this, this is what I've been doing. I would have a child of Israelites, and I heard about y'all, and I'm going to tell on these niggas, because they unrighteous, and I want to change. When the Israelites heard that, they said, hey, look, hang this motherfucking red string after shit, and if you, if you lie to us, bitch, we're going to fuck you up. But if you really serious about this shit, you're going to be all right. And she was named in the shit. Yep. 
So when I say calm down, calm the fuck down. You talking to brothers that love each other. You ain't you know, like it's you know what I'm saying you talking to who Esau the enemy. So when y'all hey read, oh I'm in the group fucking read. Come on, calm the fuck down. Yeah, that's just, I know that's what's going on, just, energy, just like you do. That's just the energy, brother, man. Come on, man. Nah, nah, I'm cool. Brother I'm cool, though. Brother, but brother, hey, in, brother, in the beginning brother, of this brother, shit, brother. and I and I shut up, like you told me to, I shut up. But in the beginning, it was like, nobody give a fuck what the white man did for you when you got some land. Yeah. And read, brother. Read. Yeah. And then when that energy was that high on that camp fucking street shit, it was okay. But now my energy's high, and I'm telling you on some love shit. So yeah, I will, will calm down, but fuck all that. And that's what I say is what I say. Nah, nigga, be who you be. I, I you know I will. You I know I will. Hold on, hold on, all day. Let me say something. Let me say something. Be, be who Judah Mac be. Ephraim, be who you be. That's just what it is, nigga. Like no, I don't give a fuck if you say fuck. If, if he say fuck the white man, this, that, this, I work in the system. I don't give a fuck, but you know, I understand what the scriptures say. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, the judgment is the judgment. Those that do come back to the most high or accept the most high, we shall see in that day. If right. they want to do it right now, yeah. bow down. Okay, then bow down. That's the scripture says, bow down. You see what I'm saying? So this is much fire as you bring Judah, much fire as people bring in his in his realm. Nobody's telling nobody to calm the fuck down because everybody get turned up in their realm. And that's just what hey, that, That's what I said in the beginning. Hey, real shit, that's what I said in the beginning. And I appreciate that. Because Ephraim, when he, when he first jumped on here, I'm like, ah, it's Ephraim. Ah, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate that spirit. You know what I'm saying? I really we done been, do. we done been on the live a, a few times, all of us. So shit, I know, I know they turned up right now, man. I, I wish I had that experience, the vibration they on right now. It's been a minute since I've been out there banging hard body. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Right. Man? But you right. know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing different things. So I'm saying I'm rocking with the Mac. You know, y'all can, y'all can, because we, we trying to put this on a fire fire. Oh, it's kind of low. Y'all hear me? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I... Okay. You know, and, and I understand all of that stuff, but our job ain't to sort out the nation. And our job ain't to sort out who's the, who's the good cracker, who's the bad cracker. That ain't my job. The most high going to do that, the angels going to do that. And until time tells and reveals on what we got to do, I'm going to give them that same energy. And I'm going to do what the Bible says. In Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, never trust that enemy. Oh, but I ain't rushed him, so does his wickedness. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, that ain't my job to trust him. Don't he humble himself and crouch it down. I'm, I'm keeping them niggas outside my land. I'm not keeping them, I'm gonna tell you like this. I got, tra I live on the land. I got trespassing. Right? I got trespassing. Signs on my land, and I'm waiting for a cracker to not show up in a commercial vehicle so I can put them on the fucking news. I promise you that. You see what I'm saying? There's a difference between me and other brothers, and there's a lot of brothers that got the same spirit. Y'all do what y'all do, we do what we do, and we're gonna see each other at the finish line, most high willing. Most high willing. You know what I'm saying? But there's a balance to it all, and I love all my brothers in Israel, no matter what they doctrine is. I look at brothers, some is bugged out. Some got doctrines of devils. Some got doctrines of confusion. Some might believe, you know what I'm saying? Some might believe the shit they kicking. But as for me and my house, I ain't gonna never trust no white man. I ain't gonna bring him in my house. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give a chance to my children to think it's all right to pick motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? Because we all have peace with him. We walk in the land. We walk in hand in hand. Nah, that ain't my job. My job is to prophesy and we read these words to the heathen and to the nations. Matthew 24 and 14. Preach this word to the whole world as a witness to all nations and then the end shall come. I'm paraphrasing it. Right? And then the end shall come. So, yeah, all nations 
turn to the robot world. The most high brought the nations. He's going to bring the nations like he brought the animals. Like he brought the animals and tools into Noah's Ark. That said the Lord. Hey, question. I still, I still hey. want these Abraham Lincolns and George Washington. Hey, hey question. I, I, heard, I heard somebody bring out uh, Sirach 12 and 10 where it say, never trust your enemies. So my question was, did, did Saul become an enemy to David? That what now? I, I said I heard somebody bring out Sirach 12 and 10 about never trust your enemy, right? Did, yeah. did Saul become an enemy to David? Of course. Did, did David trust him? Do what? Did David Saul. No. Right. Good. We agree. Right. So, uh, all, I'm, so the, all I'm saying is, yeah. you, you can't. All I'm saying, and not when I say you, I ain't talking about you specifically, brother. This is for everybody that's listening. You can't just use that for the white man. That's the shit that be getting on my nerves. That goes for anybody. Because I got niggas that be want. I got niggas that look just like me. They talking about next time they see me, they gonna turn my lights out. Hey, hey, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I had to hold up though. Hey, hey, Ephraim, hold up. You, you went for a, a while, but it's real shit. I'm just taking a little bit of time. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, right. <laughs> hey, when it's all said and done, our enemies are not just outside of our nation. We have mad enemies. You got enemies right now inside your nation. The camp niggas did. They came against you like a motherfucker. I seen the work that you did, and I was like, shit. Real talk, even if you wrong, right, or indifferent, I just told I was like, man, that brother Ephraim was a cool nigga. I done seen how he get down or without. I done seen how the motherfuckers came against him, and I'm going to just choose that side. You might be wrong on many things that other people look at me and be like, how you still fucking with him? But I'm like, shit, that's just the choice that I made. You know what I'm saying? But Saying that I made a choice, you make a choice to fuck with me, my horror car, whatever. But there are enemies in our nation of our own people that will fucking see you kill. And we make it seem like it's only Esau. Esau, uh, the white man, is only our enemies. And we still love our brothers. But the love that we say that we have for our brothers, we still fighting amongst our brothers. We still, they fighting amongst us. We don't like that. They don't like that. But it's still going on. And we make it seem like the only enemy that we got, according to the scripture, is Esau. That's bullshit. The motherfuckers that was killing us and turning us into all our enemies was our own people. And God tells us to watch out for our own people. Every enemy scripture ain't just talking about Esau. It's not just talking about Esau. Sometimes it's talking about you. Sometimes it's talking about me. Sometimes it's talking about Mahabraka. It's pay attention. You become an enemy two years from now. Next week after this conversation, you become an enemy. You become somebody that know somebody want to kill me. I become somebody that know, you know what I'm saying? That's how that shit go. Hold on, Ephraim. Hold, hold on, Ephraim. Hold on, Hold up, hold up. Hold on, Ephraim. Ephraim, hold up. We got, we got enemies of our own people. And them are the ones we're supposed to watch out. The scriptures say, don't inquire about how the wicked going to be punished, but how the righteous going to be saved. So who's the righteous? Us. So why are we worrying about the wicked of Esau? If we do what so what Judah Mac was saying, and I, I wanted to come on because I got something to bring up to him. Because what he said was something, it was something ill. You know, that Judah. Yeah. All right. My, my, my bad. Yeah, what happened? You kicked me off. Nah, nah, nah. I had the old phone in front of the heat. Nah, you kicked me off, Lee. Well, I'm. I'm not gonna hey. kick you off, brother. You wasn't bringing that yeah. much heat. You kicked me off. You wasn't bringing that much yeah, heat, brother. Hey, Judah, Judah, what you were saying and the brother was saying, I keep forgetting the brother's name. Your, your brother, your right hand man. What's his name again, huh? Marsh. Right. Now, I, both of y'all, both of y'all, y'all got points, but what y'all gotta separate and realize is that. There's, 
the hatred and the enemies of our nation by a person. And it has enemies and hatred of Esau and the other nations that perpetual. So that's the difference in the separation. That's perpetual, uh, or what's it called? Perpetual hatred, and then there's curses. We can't, we can't put those sides aside. That curses is different from the hatred that them bastards had from us in the world. Yeah, let me ask you. On both sides. Uh, you, okay. And the scriptures say we used to be tender to each other. We used to have that. It ain't perpetual. We're going to get back to that. But Esau hates us with a perpetual hatred, bro. Where's that at? Where's that at? Huh? Hey, go to that. Where's that, where's that scripture? Now, bring, the, the it out. bring that scripture that says Esau hates us with a perpetual, perpetual hatred. hatred. Yeah, go to it. Let's look up perpetual. Hey, go to the, the, the scripture that says Esau hates us with a perpetual hatred. That's talking about what? That's talking about an everlasting hatred, brother. Yeah, I, I hear you. I, hey, real quick, I'm just asking you real quick. Let's just let's just pause on us. Let's just pause on us conversating and go to that scripture that says Esau hates us with a perpetual hatred. Right, bring it hatred. out. You got to bring it out. You got to prove that right. <laughs> I'm going to get the scripture too right now. Hold on. Yeah. Not that, hey, hold up real quick. Not God hates Esau. Not God hated Esau. A guy hated Edom. But Esau hates us with a perpetual right, hatred. The word of you. The Go word to that you, The word of you, brother. The word of you. All right? So let's get that joint. Let's get it. Hey, not you. Hey, hey, hold up. I'm a hover car. Oh, no, I, I know, I know. I, 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 I know. I know. I know. All right, thank you. Thank you. I Come appreciate on, it. Brother. I know. All right. Hold on. I, I can't even hear what they're saying. I can't even hear what they're saying. Now, I, I say go to the scriptures and say what you just said. You said Esau hates Israel with a perpetual hatred. Uh, Esau hates Jacob with a perpetual hatred. Huh? Yeah, I can't hear what this shit on, man. You ain't hear what I said? No, nah, I got it. Hold on. I'm going to say it again. Said, pull out some Go to the script about the perpetual hatred, brother. What was yeah. he? What? Esau hates Jacob with a perpetual right. hatred. Esau hates Israel with a perpetual right. hatred. Yeah, bring it out. You, you want to hear the scripture? Yeah. Yes, sir. Read the scripture. Yeah. Uh, Ezekiel 35 5. Ezekiel 35 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, a shed the blood of the children of Israel by the voice of the sword, and the blood of their enemy, and the that their iniquity that is in it. I'll read the scripture, Ezekiel. They quote quoting Ezekiel 35 and 5. You can start from so verse what, 1. What, what, what are we trying to break down? Right. Tells you what it is. I don't know. Y'all breaking up. Y'all breaking up a little bit. I can't hear nothing now. What'd you say? I said you was breaking up a little bit. But you're quoting Ezekiel 35 verse 1 on down. Where it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, and say unto it, Thus said Yahweh, our power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy city waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because. Thou has had 
had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword Cut. and a time of their calamity and a time that their iniquity had an end. There you go. Cut. That's cut. The cut board. That's got cut. The, all the all the bells and whistles in it. <laughs> right. They, see, Judah ain't gonna go against it. <laughs> Motherfucking life. <laughs> that's a that's a straight all the bells and whistles in that motherfucker. I, I, hey, I'm not. I'm not. Read, yeah. hey, read this shit again. <laughs> Hold on, read it again. You want to read it again? Read this shit what, what, what again. You, what are you saying? No, he's agreeing. He's agreeing. That's all. He's okay. Agreeing. Ezekiel 35. He want me to read it again. Ezekiel 35 and 1. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy. <laughs> against it and say unto it thus said Yahweh our power behold O Mount Seir I am against thee and I will stretch out my hand against thee and I will make thee most desolate I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, Said Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. <laughs> he said, Yeah, that's, that's all about you going. I love that. It's a bomb. <laughs> I love, love it's a loop. You know what I'm saying? You can just go on and on, man. So uh, listen, hey, hey hold on. go ahead, bro. bro. Yeah, I, I love that. Real shit. I love that. And that's absolutely relevant. Absolutely great. And I love that. And I love the power and the force of my brothers going down to the White House or going to wherever and, and protesting. I love the power and the force of the brothers that I stayed back and did the other thing, to, to be crafty. I love the power and the force of the brothers that they're all about love or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. So when I'm saying this stuff, when how do you operate in this situation, Ephraim? I'm going to ask you that. How do you operate in this situation? You say, hey, make sure you hate these motherfuckers and come against them all day long. How do you go to the store? How do you go to your job? How do you operate in business? How do you make sure that you're okay? How do you plant vineyards? How do you build houses? How do you do that? With wisdom. Okay. We in the curses, yeah. right? Okay. Why are we in the curses? Because we broke the law. Okay. But Deuteronomy 15 and 1 says, if you do what you're supposed to do, the curses don't really apply to you anymore. Right. So why are you personally, or me, or anybody that we say we all in the curses, why are you personally still in the curses? Because the curses ain't supposed to apply to you no more at all because you keep the commandments. You found the formula. You understand now that, oh, shit. Verse 1 says if I do this, that, and the third and keep all the commandments, and then that's what I'm going to do matter of fact i'm gonna go out and teach other motherfuckers if they don't do what i'm doing then they evil as shit so that means that i'm really keeping these commandments so verse one all the way down to 26 or 24 applies to me our 15 applies to me shit i'm keeping all the commandments deuteronomy 15 verse one 
on down applies to me. So how can you be mad? Are you are you in the same motherfucking situation as everybody else? Because me personally, I keep the commandments. And the most high blessing the shit out of me. And when I look at brothers that don't keep the commandments and I'm talking about them, I'm not going to put them on the same level as me because they ain't keeping the commandments. That's why they complain about their wife, their children, their motherfucking finances. I'm not complaining about this shit. Shit just happens, but I'm peaceful. I love my motherfucking life. Yeah, uh, you move the goalposts. You move the goalposts. But what you're saying, you just said all of that, but the first argument was changing it from why are you talking to Esau? We got to worry about our own people. Well, if you keeping the commandments and you being blessed and you not in the curses, then you ain't got shit to worry about. What you worried about it for? Why are you in the Nothing. argument? Nothing. I'm not. All right, I'm not. I'm not. So, bro. Hey, so brother. What's the point? Hey, my brother. My brother, I'm not. What's the point? Real talk. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. Real, not, real talk. I'm not worried about it. And I'm not worried about Esau because Esau treats me right. Or the white man or the Chinese man, they treat me right because... And I feel like they treat me right, and I got all this shit going on for myself because I'm doing what God said. He said, if your ways please me, I will cause whoever you think is your right. enemy to treat you well in your captivity. So I'm in my captivity, able to build houses yep. and make motherfucking moves because I'm doing what God said. So when I look at brothers and be like, I'm angry because it's just fucked up for everybody, I'm like, shit. If you shut the fuck up and do what God said, you could be blessed and then sit back and chill. And then you can show other people to shut the fuck up, accept their punishment, because we in this shit. You're not going to change anything in this shit, accept your punishment, and then have your own personal motherfucking situation with God. Two are better than one, but a three-chord strand cannot be easily broken. It's going to be small. When you had thousands, he said, break it down to 300. It's going to be, it's going to be little. That's the way it's just going to happen. Out there yelling and raging and all that little shit, you making yourself, hey, but whatever. Hey, 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 family, listen. If Master treats you good, hey, man, hey, more the merrier. You know what I'm saying? Master hey, you know that was an insult, right? Hey, if Master, you know that was an insult, hey, right? If Master, you know that was a motherfucking hey, hey, insult, hey, hey, right? Hey, listen, hey, my hold brother, on, on, you know there's an insult, right? How you think I respond to that? Come on, nigga, I ain't, I ain't worried about that, brother. Come on now, like if you get if you get emotional, nigga, I got I got free hugs to give you, man. I got big free hugs. I love you. I, 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 I love you. I got I hugs, you, nigga. Yeah, yeah, we got five hundred in this pull up with hey, for you. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I love you, bro. Hey, hey, King, check this out. I love you too, but now check this out. You know where that same doctrine that you talking about? That that dude, that that albino dude that they used to call the general. I don't know what the fuck he was the general of. He was just a rapper in Israel. That yeah, albino get, nigga, with the, that albino nigga with the dress. That 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 Dimitri nigga. That 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 Dimitri nigga that was uh, mocking uh, IUIC. That uh, Dimitri nigga. That Dimitri nigga that they call him an elder. Elder the fucking what? Just because he old. That elder nigga when he got shot in the fucking face by a white bitch. All right, by Esau bitch. That y'all niggas say, oh, treat me right, nigga. That my it was his actual fucking neighbor. It was his actual fucking neighbor that shot him in the motherfucking face, and that nigga's no longer with us. And she didn't go to the jail. The general's no longer with us. And she didn't go to jail. Head shot. Hey. Wow. Right. I mean, hey, Head hey, shot. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm, hey, hold up, though. Head shot. No I'm, I'm, Head hey, hold shot. Up. That hold up. cool shit. Hold up, though. What happened to that cool, cool shit? Hey, just so you know, I knew I knew him. Me and him had me and him had back and forth before, and me and him talked. I knew him. I knew him around that shit when it happened. His people reached out to me and told me that damn, that's what happened. I put out a motherfucking message on my page. This was like four or five years ago when that shit first happened. I knew him. So when you saying that shit, it's actually personal to me. So please don't go too hard on it. Cause that shit hurt my motherfucking feelings. Cause I knew hey, him, man, and me and him not. were on some repentance. Show my people their transgressions. You said it. Show my people their transgressions. Keep that same energy, my nigga. Listen, you Judah, I'm Ephraim. I'm you a fucking lion. I'm a rhino. You come with that. You crouching down like a lion. I'm gonna lift your ass up now. 
With that horn, nigga, I'm going to lift your ass up and flip you on your back. Don't you kept that? Keep the same energy, my man. You just said, I am 5081. Show my people. So what happened to that general, Nick? Yeah, listen, listen. Hey. Let me say something right quick. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. My hold on. Hold on. Real quick. Thing, hey, 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 Ephraim, Ephraim, real shit. I wasn't on no, no, no energy like that. I was just telling you a, a, a personal experience, not a confrontational experience for me to you, me and you to have right now. I'm just telling, hold on, dude. Let me say this shit. Ephraim, Ephraim, calm down, elder. Ephraim, calm down. Let me say this. I wasn't going on no beef or confrontation. I was just sharing with you an experience that what I had with this nigga before he died, and he still is valuable. So I ain't trying to make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, whatever the beef is, he's gone now. I hope he got hey. some repentance from the Lord. But the shit that you're saying to me right now, like it's like me and you going back and forth. So what I'm going to do is this. He's not going back Bye, and forth. Bro. Yeah, this one. Yeah. I, obviously, me and you are no way on any kind of one accord. I'm trying to be peace when I keep on. I'll rewind this shit back and look at it for myself. But goddamn, I'm going. Judah, Judah, where peace. are you going? He's not. It's, 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 you taking it the wrong way, bro. You talking no. about emotion? Yeah, hey, hold, hold on. Oh, if, hold on. We just having a conversation. We don't have to agree. And nobody is 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 clapping at nobody like. He mad at how you Man. saying what you saying. He, he's not doing that. He just bringing out, bringing out the fire like you bring out fire, brother. Like let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? And and I want to pull a scripture in Jeremiah to say in Jeremiah right here about the same that you said Jeremiah 15, right? And 11 said the Lord said, "Verily it shall be Man left. well." Your man left. Your man be, left. Should be well with thy remnant. Verily, I will cause thy enemy to entreat thee well in the time of the of of evil, in the time of affliction. So I mean, the Most High is going to allow this thing to happen to have mercy on us. That's part of the mercy on Jacob. You see, what I'm saying? Yeah. like well, what, you said, what you said, what you said was obviously a, a real point because a white woman took down the brother. You know, not, not even right. a white man. The white woman shot the brother in his face. A uh, tall glass of milk. You know what I'm saying? A tall glass of 2% milk. I wanted to be there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go there. I was in, um, I think that was like 2014 or something like that when that happened. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, listen, man. We have many offices, man. You know what I mean? And you have you have uh, brothers that's going to bang the highways and byways. You have brothers that's going to bang on the, the the prophets of israel because it talks talk about speak unto the prophets of israel I right? want to finish. then you got script that talk about speak unto the wicked of israel you know what i'm saying so we have a a, a a broad range of ministry man and that's just what it is you see what i'm saying so nobody is uh, uh i would say i understand you can't be wrong because we could be wrong but nobody's wrong in terms of a hey, I'm ministering over here, you ministering over there. But I see the balance is, you know, like Masha Rathi brought up the balance of uh, never trusting your enemy. And scripture says your enemy should be of your own household, right? So we have any enemies within our own household, which is your personal household, the house of Israel. Now we have, we know Psalms 83 talking about we have enemies of the nation. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we can't turn that back. As a whole, these nations are our enemies. Regardless if one or two individuals decide to deal with you right or whatever the case is, that's fine. That's just the mercy of the Most High for you keeping the commandments of the Most High or being an upright person. But as a nation, that when the judgment comes, like with the Egyptians, I'm sure that I always say this. I'm sure there was a good Egyptian. I'm sure there was a nice Egyptian that showed some Israelites love during that captivity. And Moses was found. Yeah, but when Moses, when, when the most I bought the, the when the most I bought Moses. the seven plagues, all they goddamn ass felt the goddamn heat. Right. And, and Mo my Moses, and Moses, Moses was penetrating one. 
You know what I'm saying? So Say it again. Moses was penetrating one. No, he had the Ethiopian. Sorry, so like the Ethiopian. Your thing yeah, yeah. had a Midianite woman. But the thing is Joseph Joseph I, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a Egyptian. <laughs> right, your your mama was an Egyptian, right? And, yeah. and her and her family got jacked up. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, but, you should really yo, do that. <laughs> right, but, but yo, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know because Maharaka, I know Judah Mac, your man, and I, I ain't got no quails with him. Nah, but yeah. I didn't know he was that emotional, son. Nah, nah, nah. Listen, man. Listen. Because he said, because he said, he said, show my people their transgression. And then he said, "Don't talk about my men like that, son. Come on, son. What the I fuck mean, are you talking about, Willie? Let's, 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 like, let's just put it like this. Willie, what are like you this. talking about? Let's put it like, like this, okay? You know, you can be sensitive over your man. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's close to you or, or you have a relationship with. You can be, all right? That's not like you can't. That's impossible. To be. You can make old but that's, that still doesn't deter from the statement that was made. You see what I'm saying? And you just brought it out and gave a, a powerful example concerning how this white woman took out a brother. You know what I'm saying? And and they was pushing the love spirit. Right. <laughs> right. Pushing and, the love, everybody love spirit. And, and we love the love, the regards of the fact. And they see, were doing that. And you uh, see the father, Demetri Milliken, he's all against the camps, right? He's, draw, he's glorifying the man got, the brother got shot at IUIC. Even though we were speaking about it, I don't wish the man to die. I wish I don't want that to happen to a brother. You see what I'm saying? So he took the takes the liberty to rejoice over it. You know what I'm saying? And use it and use it as a catalyst to say you niggas shouldn't be out in the highways of Bowie. You should be doing this. Well, this nation was built off the elders being in the highways of Bowie before there was a fucking internet. Niggas. Wait, hold on, I, hold on, hold on, I, cause you unspoken the menace said that was wrong, chief, respectfully. So if I was wrong. Was Demetrius wrong for his uh, commentary towards the brother from IUIC getting shot? Yay or nay? Yeah, you got to answer that. You got to be fair, brother. Yay or nay? Was Demetrius that. wrong? See, that's the problem with Israel. They don't like when that, that's, they get that same energy. They could dish it out, but then they got a glass jaw, and they can't take that fist to the chin. You know what I'm saying? You got that glass jaw. You should watch your mouth. What what Philly said? What Philly said? If you got a glass jaw, you should watch, watch your, your mouth. Because I break your face. You live in a glass house. Period. Come on you know in. You gotta be fair. Yeah. You gotta be fair. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's the brother? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what's up, bro? Go crazy. Yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't really get that last question. What'd you say, bro? I Elder? said, if you said I was wrong. Respectfully, was Demetrius, Elder Demetrius, that I don't know what he does for the nation, was he wrong for his commentary about the brother getting shot in IUIC? That's a good question. I See, I can't speak on that because I don't know the story. I can't speak on that. To speak on a brother that got shot by, got shot in the face by, on that note, even if he was wrong in messing with that, you know, because what we started off talking about was a brother jumping on another brother, and that shit went all the way left. We talking about what's going on amongst Israel, bro. Now that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that brother got the right Let's to feel uh, some type of, and he did get shot in the face by a woman. When you, they what? When you feel bad. If one of your brothers slept with a concubine of another nation ended up getting taken out, when you feel some type of remorse, though, right, bro? So in the end, what? Nah. Answer the question. Nah. Because you, you sleep with dogs, you get flies, B. You get fleas. You sleep with dogs, you get fleas. You get whatever you get, nigga. I don't, I don't, I don't, yo, if you sleep with a white woman and you get judged, my nigga, that's on you. I ain't got no shit to say about it. I don't fuck with white women. I don't stick my dick in white women. I got, I got a royal piece. This is what I want to say. I don't either. Listen, this is what I want to say. It, it, it doesn't matter. Listen. I don't either. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, we having a general comment. We having a, we was having a conversation 
Ephraim came in, the conversation went where it went according to the spirit. The, the, the question is, and as I said, I even said what well, Judah, you know, that was somebody he knew. Okay, fine. So he made the statement based off a comment or a scripture that was quoted earlier about spare not. Right? We can we we have to stand. I can, I can. can you hear me? You're on mute. You're on mute, uh. I'm on mute. You're on mute, uh. You're on mute, Maharika. You're on mute. You got you got this garbage over there. Yo, Maharika. You on mute, nigga. Don't wanna see you. What you got over there? Cold cuts? How you doing? Oh, no. I, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, check it out, check it out. Check it out, listen. <laughs> listen, we are men, we are lions, we are rhinos, we are wolves, we whatever the, the symbolism of the tribes represented. Okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If, if a statement is made, if a statement is made about spare or not, yeah. and it's a general statement, then that's what it is. But I'm saying, it's not nothing personal about somebody personal. Hold on. It's not personal about somebody personal. He don't know. But E for a quick OG, I'm sorry, on, big dog. Can finish. I say something? Because you know, let this, me this, this, let me one moment, this one in the moment where I like get to chop it up uh, with the legendary on, team E friend. Listen, you know what I'm saying? The honor. But, okay. Are you going to interrupt me, brother? No. All right, listen, listen up. It's not, it's not a personal statement concerning some uh, about you as an individual, right? He don't know his relationship with that man, so it wasn't malicious. It wasn't in malice. He just made a statement based off his statement, and so we can't crucify the brother for making a statement, a general statement about something that happened for real because a brother have a relationship with him that he don't know that relationship. That what was said was already said. That's just what the reality is. I met the brother myself. Okay? I met the brother in Kansas City when we did the concert out there. You see what I'm saying? So I, I knew the brother. I didn't know him like know him, but I met him and we chatted and we talked and we kicked it. You see what I'm saying? So we can't we can't crucify the brother for that. And so when he came and said, well, what about his father, Dimitri Milligan, that took an opportunity of the brother getting shot to denounce street teaching. I mean, for, for all camps and demonize our street teaching, which is impossible because the Bible says go into the highways and byways, nigga. There's no way you can get those, no way you can go away around that. You go uh, uh, all through the Bible, bro. I slice your fucking head off if you make that statement. That's a ridiculous statement. So he was saying, okay, what about was that? That long for him seeming like he's rejoicing over a shot That's because I'm it's the Bible. That's it. I mean, I don't have to know the, the the grand details, but the man did the video. I'm sure you saw the video. Everybody seen that fucking video. You see what I'm saying? And he was fucking wrong, brother. Because it's not scriptorial. That's the point. It's not scriptural. We probably are debating the scriptures or having a conversation about scriptures. Yes, prophesy against Mount Seir. Prophesy against Edom. Prophesy against the prophets of Israel. Prophesy against the wicked of Israel. There's prophets that only went and dealt with Israel or went and dealt with the prophets and leaders of Israel. There's prophets that went and involved on the heathens. So we can't get mad and, 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 uh, and minimize somebody's office because you over here doing this and I'm over there doing that is all to the glory of the Most High. The Judah Mac prophesying rebuking these elders or the wicked of our people. You see what I'm saying? All praise and glory to the Most High. Right? If these brothers are rebuking our enemies, our physical enemies, our lifelong enemies, James the ninth chapter, or, or Psalms the 83rd chapter, all to the scripture, all praise to the Most High. We do not be gunning down each other because we're doing the work. You see what I'm saying? So, Ross made a great point about your enemies. Okay? You can't just use that scripture and say, an enemy cannot be of your own household. 
because that would be ridiculous. You can't say that. You can't back it up from Scripture. So the worst enemy is your, of your own people, right? Your, your, it's, it's you're talking about a friend becoming an enemy. Our enemies are against us because of our sins, right? Because of the sins of, a, of our life as a nation. That's why these nations are against us. But Esau, from the beginning, hated Jacob in Genesis 27. He been hated his, his Right. So that's a long last. That's the perpetuation that goes back to there. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we cannot get stumbled up on the foundation of what we came into the understanding of. You see what I'm saying? Like, if that was fucking wrong. See, I'm never going to go that far. I'm, I'm always going to keep the foundation, brother. You see what I'm saying? I understand. I work in the system. I work in I, I didn't say you were wrong. I said the whole shit left. It went, it went wrong. It went left, left real quick. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we could bang on our enemy all day, bro. But we are the ones that stopping our Messiah from returning whenever he ready because we not coming together. You know what I'm saying? We could, we could, we could agree to disagree, but we are our own enemy. It was our own people who it was our own people who handed the Messiah to our enemies. So you gotta always remember that, big dog. Like, I, like I respect you, and you know I respect anybody that's on here. Hell, you know, and it, it's, it's good talking to the legendary uh, Ephraim. Not I don't, but just respect as a younger brother. But at the end of the day, if we don't check our people, then why? Would, if we don't fight for our people, then why? The Lord is going to come back and gather us, man. We can't even come together on phase, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's all I'm saying is we was we was talking about something that has to be addressed amongst the nation. We know that our enemy is about to fall. We know that the kingdom, of, their kingdom, is over with. We know that, man. We know everything that comes with what it is, whatever it is, the Most High got planned for them. What we saying is us as a people, Israel. Is when your house shines, you sure you who should have you out there. He's going to judge the house of Israel first, bro. And guess what? When we go to the wilderness, if it's his mission for us to go to the wilderness, those who think be the ones that make it might even be the ones that's gonna make it. I, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. He don't know if he gonna make it. Make it. We can't be so proud to say we gonna make it. Only Yahweh shot know earlier. Everybody got different bodies to the wall. All right. Y'all brothers are the head. You got certain brothers at the fist. You got certain brothers that are the elbow. You got certain brothers that are the feet, legs, arm, head, neck, back, whatever. However you reach is however the most high want you to reach. However they reach is however the most high reach. Brothers like myself and Judah and Marsha and every other brother that don't have 500 people behind them that's still doing the walk. Like I said from the get-go, David was the lowliest as brother. He was the lowliest and ended up being king. So a lot of these folks that's reigning king already, they, I got to find that scripture, bro. How can you reign king without us? You set yourself a stone and I got to find that scripture. I'm finding that scripture. And you reign without us. Look it up, look it up, because I want to no, bring this point up. All, right? I'm saying, all I'm saying is, yeah. Chief, all I'm saying is, the way that the Most High got y'all set up, the people, is different from the way that the Most High got me and other brothers set up. The arm can't do what the leg do, pimping. The leg can't do what the arm do, pimping. And you know, just I to speak you. as a younger brother, Please. you got to walk off as you being a leader. Hold up, big dog. As you being a leader, you have to walk with wisdom, Chief. Understand that these folks is trying to find any way they can do to infiltrate this wall. You know that you not know what these boys doing. We know that y'all bringing down, bringing down the White House. We know that y'all y'all ranking. But if these folks really want to do something wicked, check this out. They can look and see what you got on your head right now, bro. You gotta walk with wisdom, OG. You don't, do you not know that they hitting niggas up with RICO charges just by just being associated with anything, bro? You gotta walk with wisdom in these last days, bro. And I'm saying spec, big dog. Because all they... <laughs> yeah, throw it up, my nigga. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, is, you ain't walking with wisdom. Hey, I can do what I used to, but I ain't. What, what, what I'm saying, up, though, nigga? it is what it is, man. Yeah.
what, bro? This game, this game is chess, not guess what? This game is chess, not checkers, my nigga. Listen, so don't be the ones when it's thing. Hold up. This is, hold up. This thing is chess, not checkers, Ephraim. So don't be the ones that when this shit go down, don't lead, don't lead your pawns out there to get knocked off, bro. Got, That's all I'm saying. Respectfully, no this game, game, I got, game I got checks, pawns. Not, I got checkers, brothers. bro. I ain't got no pawns. You got I got brothers. Move, move them, big dog. I got bro bro we all got brothers. We all brothers. We all brothers, my dog. We all pray to your house. Let me, let me we let all pray to your house by real quick. Quick. real quick, real quick. This green shit, what the fuck does green represent? The land. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm saying I know what it represents. You on. know what it represents. Hold on. Hold on. Just because you know what it represents doesn't mean the people that's watching know what it represents. So let the man build, bro. My past, life, my past life was this, ADR. I was playing king. I, I feel him. I feel him. I feel him. Guess what? I, I, guess what? Guess what? I, 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 I read too, bro. To but the, the, the man scriptures said a walk in wisdom, big dog. dog. We got to walk in wisdom. I let the man talk unspoken. Come on, brother. We can't have a... A, a civil dialogue, as you're saying, and being come in unity, if you're not gonna let a man motherfucking speak. And we know this basic fundamental scripture don't interrupt a man in the midst of his I'm speech. Not but you're interrupting him, is what I'm saying. I'm trying to mediate your conversation. So let him let him build, and then if he cuts you off, I'm gonna be like, let him build, brother. Come on, man. Let's not do that, man. Cause nobody, nobody gonna get edified by that shit. Nobody, I'm not, I can't hear the shit. Cause I'm, I'm getting tight because I can't hear shit. Because you're interrupting him. And I ain't mad at you as per se, like you, you know what I'm saying? You my man, but I'm just saying, come on bro, let the man talk bro. Go ahead, Ethan. Yeah. You know, and I dig what you say, cause I tell brothers the same thing, but if you check my background, you know, because that's going into another left field, but if you check my background, I represent black and gold. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Latin King. This is the color of Patria. That's the Dominican gang. That's the opposite side. That's the opposite side of the family. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's that's the opposite on the streets. That's the Simeon gang. Y'all look up the Patria. They big in Rikers. They big up top now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just showing love and I'm matching my clothes like 50 said. You know what I'm saying? This is swag. I'm from New York. We used to wear bandanas before all gang, bro. Can I say all, 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 all due respect? I didn't mean to disrespect. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Respect. You know what I'm saying? But just like, that's what I'm trying to show you. I'm wearing the opposite colors. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to wear more colors while I'm outside. Because that's what I'm going to start doing to show, brother. Yo, this universal. The most I call it all you simple niggas. You see what I'm saying? You can't get me on the Rico charge because I ain't sell a drug in over 10 years. I ain't sell a drug in 10 years. Man, guess what? You know I what got, I'm saying? I got, I man, I know, I know, nigga, I know homies that's doing Rico just by being associated. Yeah. Okay. That shit you gotta, is good. The only way I'm getting the Rico if if Israelites go down. If Israelites go down, that's the only way I'm getting the Rico. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm Israelite to the core. You watch my All movement. I'm saying, my See how I move? Listen, King, I don't know you from a hole in the wall, and I don't, I never heard of you, but I'm outside. Guess what? I'm outside. Guess what? And yeah, how is I'm out, Listen, uh, King, what I'm outside. Is, I mean, bro, 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 hold on, bro, hold on. Let you say, bro. Bro. Hey, Ephraim, if you let the man finish his point, brother, then you got the floor. I don't understand why you brothers cannot just be quiet and let a man speak. We on a public platform now. So everybody can see if you're interrupting or not. Everybody can see. So just understand that people watching and listening, let the man speak. If you got to write the mental, the, the, the mental th um, notes down or physically down, write it down. Then respond. Unless that is having a rapid, a rapid conversation here. I want to hear what he's saying, and I want to hear what you have to say. 
But I can't hear what you have to say if he interrupted you, huh? Vice versa. Are you finished or you still got something else to say, bro? Are you yeah. Now, I'm just saying, my, my point was, because he said, the beginning of why he came on is because we got on Dimitri. Dimitri had the same energy. He had worse energy. Because I'm just showing what niggas are saying about Esau. Y'all niggas can hold hands with Esau all you want. Judah Mac came off to me. Judah Mac had a, he had, he had a, a, a limp in his walk when he talked. So I thought he he had the same energy. We could buy. But obviously he got emotional off his man. He said Esau never did nothing to me, but he did something to your man's. But guess Esau what? Esau treat me good. He got, he got, but he me, got, in got, he got, got me in the land. He got me in the land. But guess, That's he got what you got niggas talking about. But your man got a hole but, in his fucking head. You fucking with them white women. We don't fuck with them white women. That's on y'all. That's what y'all do. If you do it, you deserve a hole in your head, nigga. Right. Period. Let me say this. The brother wasn't dealing of what I know in a relationship with the white woman, anything like that. So I just want to make sure that's established here. What you got to say, bro? Yeah, and I've spoken. We do this every every gas stop. We do this shit. Hold on, let, I got you now. Guess what? <laughs> like I said, uh, my point: the brother Judah got the right to feel any any way he feel about his man. What if your man stepped outside and did wicked? We all want to pray for our brother to repent and do right, but uh, he just cut and do it, right, and some nigga. shit ha happens. No, hold on, hold on. Okay, you know what I'm saying. I let. I gave you the floor, bro. Now let me because I, I respect you, Ephraim. You know for what you do, but my thing said to you was, bro, is that when it went, I wasn't disrespecting. What I'm saying is that we all got to move in wisdom, and that's how that whole thing flipped. Because where I'm from, I know brothers who who doing time just, you know, what I'm saying just associated. And right now they hate right now that we are conversating and nobody's talking about bang, bang, chitty, chitty, whatever. Nobody's talking about banging on nobody. That's sort of fact that we can dialogue right now is what they hate on. But what I'm saying to you, bro, as a, as a young brother that's watching up to y'all older brothers, I'm saying as a time right now is that we all got to walk in wisdom, big dog. And you got to too. And that's all I was saying about that, bro. But you did, you did get this at that particular point, bro, in the matter of how, how you trying to make so because of the enemies. Let me ask you a question, bro. Everything is everything is owned by the Esau, bro. I'm pretty sure the house, the house that you in, my nigga, I'm pretty sure it was built Shalom, by Esau, Shalom. right? That land, wherever it is you from, homeboy, that ghetto, nigga, that set, cause, cause you ain't the only one throwing set, homeboy. I, I used to throw it too. The most high brought me up out of the home way. And at the what end of the day, I what said, shit, say one talking about? time. So, so do that make me some wrong because I listen to the Messiah? Because guess what? I say the white person not out of a out of a uh, burning. Okay, that's that because I say Esau. Now, now, what I'm, now, what I'm saying, now, now, check it now. I couldn't burn it, bro. But guess what? I listen to the Messiah. And now I say them out the house. So do that make me less of an Israelite? What I'm saying, bro, is that we banging too much on Esau and we not checking Israel. Israel is what got exactly. in captivity. It wasn't our own people who led. Hold up. Wasn't it our, our own people that led Christ up in Pilate? You know what I'm saying? Wasn't, yes. it, wasn't, didn't Saul, didn't Saul set out to kill David? Did, didn't, the, the house of Saul, didn't the house of Saul separate? from the house of David, right? They end up having to go to war, right? So you got to realize and stand, bro, and in these last days, you're going to see the house of Saul. You're going to see the house of David, bro. Which side you going to choose, bro? Now, what we talking about is a, another camp that has to be addressed. Now, you and your camp and brothers and your camp, we have to come together and address what's going on. Sometimes we got to take 
bang it on Esau, put it to the side to come together and address something amongst Israel, bro. Because we, right. we the reason we went in captivity, bro. We the reason why we still in captivity right now. Y'all having, having feast days on this day. Brothers having feast days on this day. We having feast days on this day. Not together. We not together, bro. Brothers beefing on corners. Esau corner. You think we ready? Ready for the kingdom, Ephraim? You can pull up all you want, brother. If you don't address Israel, we ain't gonna get to the kingdom. Period. Period, bro. We could bang on Esau all we want to, but if we don't address the house, of, because the Messiah said judgment on, is gonna start the house of Israel first, first bro. First. Okay. Um, don't leave on. Need your pawns. Like wisdom in these last days, bro. JT about to pop off. ML about to pop up don't leave your pawns into battle dog don't uh -huh. don't you got stop hold on hold on hold on stop with bro. that pawn stuff you brother. got hold on stop with that pawn stuff because i don't, don't no leave pawns. don't leave them ain't in none of these battle blind bro ain't none you gotta take in here these last days he's my brother he's my brother ain't no pawns he's my brother that's seniority and respect Dignity and brotherhood. The most I Man, said, like love the brotherhood. Like I said, in first Peter, it says, love the brotherhood. Ain't no porn. So watch when you talk about my brothers like that, brother. Ain't I'm no porn here, brother. Hey, 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 hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sometimes hold on, hold on, brothers got to be hold with hold me. Hold on, 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 and I'm a nobody, and I want to remain a nobody, bro. But you was wrong, and you need to repent, and you need to address Peter, bro. I'm out, man. I don't, I don't, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't G, I get you, with you, man. I'm, I'm out, dog. It's the right, minutes, right. nigga. It's the like you love to hate. All right, kind of. All right. Um, first of all, nah, that ain't like first that. of all, the, the young brother, he looks up to Judah and them and all that. So, he, 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 you know what I'm saying? You give him a pass on that, whatever the case is, okay? Um, I understand exactly what Ephraim is saying because he's not sacrificing his brothers, you know what I'm saying, in this battle. Okay, as a pawn, as you sacrifice your pawn, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to gain the victory on the chessboard. So understand what he's saying by saying that. Okay, so what you got to say, brother? Hey, what I got to say is, bro, is. Who are you, though? Say your name. You know, the, bro, you the are. most high. Oh, this, I, I'm out of knives. Um, I know you know me, Maharaka. Goodness gracious, don't start that. Hey, listen, man, you know what I mean? People I be knowing be forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I see how that is. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, brother, you know what I'm um, in, light, in light of, uh, you know, the young brother Ephraim, he said a major thing. Uh, we so busy around here, want to wanna, wanna holler about Esau, you know, our punishment from Esau, guess where it comes from? Our own doing. If you see what just transpired with the information that just came out in IUIC, where one of the high-ranking uh, so-called leadership done to a brother, and the IUIC is not trying to do anything for the brother, that's the main reason I left, because it's not real brotherhood. It's what you can do for the brand of IUIC. And IUIC needs to be held accountable, and we must come together, and we must band together as brothers to focus on holding our people accountable for the BS that they continually to allow to be conducted under these different camp organizations. The scriptures tell us to make friendship with the mammon of, of the unrighteous. If you use wisdom, you got to go to the unrighteous to accomplish things in this, in this. You got to go to them. Like, let's stop being unwise because we got this such hatred for Esau or whoever we think he is because there's a different understanding out there according to Scripture that explains it. We can, we can hate all we want, but it's our own ignorant asses or why that we're oppressed in the first place. And the quickest we can get that shit through our head and turn from our wickedness that we see that's in Israel, the shit, the most I start to have favor on us. 
But all this aggressive talking, all this talking about game banging, that shit ain't shit. All the thing we was doing is out there killing our own people, our own brothers. Doing doing stupid shit to our own sisters. So come on, man. That that shit got a that shit for the birds. I don't give a damn who get mad about it. It wasn't worth nothing. Colors, whatever. It, it wasn't worth nothing. It was a tool that was introduced to us for us to further destroy each other. The scriptures is the the truth, the way, and the light for us to come together and we can build together, unite together, not in unity and hatred toward other nations. The Most High got that when we come back to Him. Yeah. And if we got to repent, let's stop being so fucking prideful and repent. Shoot my language. But I feel like we're a bunch of cowards because we can't repent for our wrongdoings. Let's follow the order of the scriptures. Let's do that first. Let's stand on that first. Not with the information that we can throw out there at people. Let's be the example. Let us be the light. And if I wrong anybody that 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 is under the sound of my voice, is under this thing, I repent. If you hit me up personally and tell me what I've done, I will do my best to make it right to you. But that's what I'm on. All praise, brother. All praise. If you want to respond to that, me. Do you have anything to respond, or, or I can, I you mean, know, I can. He's saying he's talking his gang stuff. I never said nothing about no gang. He worried. We went green. We wore green, and guess what? It was four or five camps in unity. Shout out to WFR. Shout out to Rum Goodell. Shout out to Soldiers of Yahweh. Shout out, shout out to um who what else? Sons of Thunder and HOI. We was on, on the front and you and we don't even have we're like eighty percent, eighty percent on the same doctrine. But we stand on brotherhood and we stand in unity when it comes to our fucking enemy. We bang on motherfucking Esau featuring Maharaka. All right, we bang on fucking Esau. So life is what you make it. You and and, and let me tell you something, because a lot of y'all brothers that left IUIC, a lot of I see, I don't see nothing y'all doing. The scriptures say, "Let your light shine before men, so they may glorify the Most High." And I don't see what you oh. niggas be doing outside. I don't oh, never heard you don't, you of it. Don't don't listen, don't listen, don't listen. I don't, your names are not known in the gates. What? If your name is not known in the gates, I don't know who you niggas are. I don't know you. No, no disrespect. Brother. never met you. I don't know. I don't know. You're and for the split, You're I never up, heard of them before that. Well, on, on, I never on. heard of them. I heard of him after okay. the split and the, the, the constant videos, but I never heard of him before that. I heard of Maharika while I was in the truth. I heard of certain individuals while I was in the truth. I never heard of Demetrius until he started talking shit about IUIC and when he was a quote-unquote elder for the general. I never heard of him. I never heard of the general until Mighty Hebrew uh, shared a rap video, a rap song about him. I said it was fire. I never heard of these niggas. I don't know who these people are. They're not known in the gates. They're not known <laughs> for rebuking the people. And it is what it is. So okay. when brothers start talking about IUIC, I don't agree with a lot of shit them niggas say. And those are still my brothers. And I'm not saying niggas in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? I'm using it in modern terminology. I'm saying I I don't agree with them on a lot of shit. I got two wives. You know what I'm saying? I might end up with more. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but to be told, I respect what they're doing in the gate. You can't, you can't and, turn on that. And, and 
whatever they doing that's wrong, yeah, we're going to speak about it. That's why I came on and said, what's going on? I don't know what's happening. I heard about the fight with ISU UBK. Well, that wasn't it. They just made them tap out. They tapped them niggas out. I heard about um, uh, the gunshots, the shootout. The brother got shot six times. Not not two times, like Demetrius, a false witness, said. Because he oh, said two times. Yeah. He got he said two, two times. But the brother himself from IUIC said he got shot six times. So what the most I say about false witnesses? What the most I say speaking about matters that don't concern you? What about what about the most I say about speaking and meddling yourself in many matters that don't concern you? So I seen what he said, and then I seen what the actual brother said that got shot. He said he think he got shot seven times, but his wife said no, no six times. So. That's why you can't believe everything you say or hear. Not say, but everything you hear or see. You see what I'm saying? So this Demetrius nigga, to me, he's a fuck suck nigga. Respectfully. He's a bitch nigga. And he ain't no fucking elder. Period. He's not known for nothing. All his videos is in a fucking car, in his house, in the comfortability of his fucking house. To me, you ain't outside, nigga. If you ain't outside, you a house nigga. You ain't a field nigga. We them field niggas out here. We them front liners out here. Who the fuck is a Demetrius? Who the fuck is a general with no army? Who are these niggas? So niggas feel emotional about them niggas but want to talk shit about a brother that's risking his motherfucking life on the front line. What? Truthfully, if we was in the world, I'd tell a nigga, SMD, bitch. But I'm not in the world, so I can't say that. Because they're not on the front fucking line. If you ain't on the front line, sit your ass in the bleachers, and the nose bleeds, eat your slice of pizza, and be the fuck quiet, nigga. Because you ain't outside. And that's... <laughs> That's how I feel, and that's my rebuttal. Respectfully, I don't know, son. I don't know none of you niggas until y'all made rebuke videos about IUIC. So, all right. Okay, go ahead. I, I just want to say, um, yeah, I'm going to let the brother respond. Go ahead. All right. So, respectfully, no matter how much you've been outside, I don't know you. I don't know many people we walk in our own light we have our own gifts that we have to uh the most i have us to do your gift ain't greater than mine mine don't ain't greater than yours we all working for the same come and go it's to draw our brothers and sisters into into the fold to wake our people up respectfully and i don't went and help and labor for brothers building houses and, and, and being out there on the street corners. I done done the teaching. I do that stuff. I counsel. I, I do a lot. Remember, there was others that was uh, teaching Christ when Christ was walking and Peter didn't want to forbid them. But Christ said what? They do the same work as us, so they're with us. I ain't against you. You just have your special gift to be out there um, in the streets. I have my special gifts because truth be told, the gifts that I have, it's not a lot of men that have these gifts. And I've seen these gifts with these hands be transferred to men didn't even know how to do it. So respectfully, I respect your, your walk, the way your light is shining, and you don't have to respect mine. But I'm doing a great work as well. You know what I mean? Walking in this truth is more than being on the street corner. It's about being out there, being able to help men to be able to defend and grow and uh, uh, utilize more talents that they didn't even know they had. So that's my office, and I'm proud of that office, and I'm not ashamed. You know, but I'm not going to turn this to a pissing battle 
about that, but I respect your position as a brother, and you appreciate it for what you do. Just understand, I walk in a different lane. Just appreciate me for what I do. We all serving the same goal. We all, all drawing brothers and sisters to the most high. That's what we're doing. You, you can't do everything. You can do what you're you responsible that the most high called you to do, that he emboldened you to do, and I'm responsible for what I do. And like I said, I don't know you. I don't know a lot of these brothers. I come through the line of Judah Mac because we, we share a common goal. And that's respectfully. And I love all my brothers. I love you. I I love to sit down and chop it up with you and meet up with you and we barbecue and, you know what I mean, we fellowship. I love to do that one day. I love barbecue, bro. I bring the Goya, nigga. I bring the Goya. Hey, hey I build the grills. <laughs> I'll build a fire on the gallon grill. I bring the Goya. I'm evil. Well, I bring it? the Goya. I bring the Goya. I'll bring the Goya. I'll bring the Goya. I'll bring the Goya. i bring the Goya. I'll 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 bring the Goya. i will bring the goya i will bring the goya i will bring the goya i will bring and keep pushing the message. And that's what I'm talking about. You see what I'm saying? Like, listen, um, the scripture talk about in, um, I believe it's Matthew 25, you got, this for reference sake, one man got one talent, one was given two, one was given five. So everybody got a different position, and other people have more responsibility. You know what I'm saying? They got more things they got to do. But we all chasing the same thing. Right, and that's to get to the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? But there are going to be people that's going to be rewarded higher. That's the fact. We can't deny that. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So we we want to be careful about tearing down a man's ministry. You see what I'm saying? If that's his office, you feel what I'm saying? I I've, I've been built. I done been around a whole bunch of Hebrews camps, which y'all call camps, which that's almost like a, a, a derogatory uh, term because a lot of people don't understand the history of what the camp means. Okay. And I've been around assembly brothers. I've been around the individual likes. A lot of, a lot of those brothers are brothers that probably, probably was a part of a camp or a congregation and they got offended and they still hanging around. You see what I'm saying? They're still keeping the faith. You know what I'm saying? They may have, you know, uh, improved on some understanding or subtracted some things that they were taught, but they're still in the walk, they're still in the way. I deal with I, I, I like to deal with brothers as individuals, as how we gonna relate and deal with each other. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? Like how how we listen, if I have not offended you personally, then why are you offending me personally? Have I committed any sin against you as an individual for you to feel a way about me? You see what I'm saying? But we got people out here that are feel away about somebody because they're part of a clique, they're part of a congregation, they're part of an assembly. You see what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And they want to click up and they want to uh, go against brothers that never did a damn thing to them. You see what I'm saying? So I fuck with Judah Mac. That's my man. 50 grand. That's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? I, we talk every day. You see what I'm saying? We may uh, go battle or you know, uh, disagree on things. We don't do it as much as we used to. You know what I'm saying? Because we get we got to know each other. You feel me? And I got to know the man's heart. And the man's heart is big. He loves his people. He loves his people. He loves his family. He's going to protect you. And the whole nine. That's my man. You see what I'm saying? And the brothers that bang out in the highways and byways, um, Chief Ephraim, um, you know, House of Israel. First, uh, you know, I know brothers. You know what I'm saying? Um, he loves the that, white man too, though. He loves the uh, white man too. He loves his people and loves the white man too, though. Don't forget um, that. I, I don't know if I, I didn't hear him say he loved the white man. Hey man, I didn't hear. <laughs> it. I'm not gonna say a man said he loved the white man. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Or come remember, there's more than just the white man. The Arab man, the African man, the Chinese man, all kind of men. So that's not to put it on the white man. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna tell you right now, from my perspective, I hate the fucking damn African man more than the white man. I'm gonna tell you right now because the white man, at least he's my brother. He came out the same fucking womb. 
of, as my mother. We got the same father, so fuck him. That's what I'm gonna fuck them niggas. You see what I'm saying? At least Esau, my motherfucking biological motherfucking twin brother, that we gonna go like that. You see what I'm saying? He's Shemite. You see what I'm saying? It is what it is. Oh, the, nigga is hot. the nigga's hot. He mad because we got the blessing. He that mad is. because he was made to be the wicked. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. That's that's on him. I can get the point. I can get the point. You see what I'm saying? But I'm going to operate, and the brother was saying his wisdom, because I'm older now. You know what I'm saying? We all get older, but I ain't no motherfucking seller. I'm never going to do that. Don't even get that motherfucker twisted. You see what I'm saying? The judgment going to happen regardless. We can be cool. Um, we, we, can, we, can, we can rock and we can do business, but when it comes down to the judgment of the most high, you're going to get Get that shit. Israel gonna get it. Bang, you know, Esau. You know what I'm saying? Second Maccabees, Second Maccabees, the sixth chapter talks about you know, that the most I allow the heathens to put their, the, the, the increase their sins, right? And when they increase their sins, there's no mercy for them. You know what I'm saying? That's why Isaiah says there's mercy for Jacob. And he judged us swiftly. That's Second Maccabees 6.15. Read that on down. Yeah. I just want to bring this out because we was all talking, but no scriptures came out. We got to bring the scripture out. All right, real quick. This is a parable of the talent. Right? The parable of the talent. Go ahead, out. Can you hear the brother? Luke 19? This is Luke 19, verse 9. And the hour shall be said unto him, This day salvation come to the house so much as he also is the son of Abraham. But the son of man is to come to seek and to save that which was lost. So the son of man come to save and seek that which is lost. Esau is not lost. He's in his kingdom. Go ahead. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem. And because they thought that the kingdom of Yahweh should immediately appear, he said, therefore, a certain nobleman, Went into a far country. So a certain nobleman came into a far country. Go ahead. To receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. So this is Yahweh, the, 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 the nobleman that went into the country to deliver the kingdom. So he gave he gave his nobleman, no, he gave his uh, servants ten pounds. Okay. Watch this here now. And said unto them, Occupy until I come. He said, Occupy till I come. Go ahead. But this, but his citizens hated him and sent him a message after him saying, He will not have this man to reign over us. So look here, we will not have this man to reign over us. Right, those are the people that's against you. I was shocked. Go ahead. And it came to pass that when he was returned, having received the kingdom, that he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. So he gave him the talent. He gave him the pounds. He said, yo, flip this, son. Yeah. Let me see what you can flip. You got all this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. I'm giving you the bag. Flip this bag. Okay, go ahead. And, the, and he said unto him, well, a slugger. Then he came, the first thing, Lord, thy pound have gained ten pounds. And he said unto him, Well thou good servant. He said, Well thou good old servant. He said, You flipped the ten pounds. You flipped what I gave you. You doubled up. Go ahead. Because thou hast been faithful in very little. Because you have been faithful in very little. What? Have thou authority over ten cities. You get authority over ten cities. You the governor now. You the mayor now. You the politician that runs this situation over here. Go ahead. And the servant came saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. So now this is the servant that gave five pounds. Go ahead. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over five cities. So now the servant that did ten cities, he doubled up. He get 20 cities. He get 10 cities. The one that got five, he got five cities. We all working for the same penny. We The kingdom of heaven. But the status in heaven ain't the same. That's where the 144,000 
get separated from the one third. Okay? Those are the ones that Yahweh Shah puts the crown on. Go ahead. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy crown, which I have kept laid up in the napkin. So you you the one that did you laid it up. You said, I ain't messing with them white folk. I'm going to teach my people. And you still ain't outside teaching your people. Go ahead. For I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. That's what they say. Oh, oh we, we got to teach Israel. Huh? This is what happens when, when brothers don't go outside no more. They start making excuses. Right. They say, we're going we to teach Israel. Huh? Yo, rebuke Israel, sons. Oh, uh, uh, Isaiah 58 and 1 says to Israel, but don't talk about the albino. Go ahead. Thou oh, takest up that thou layest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow. Go ahead. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee. Out of thy own mouth will I judge thee. Talking all that shit, all this stuff you talking about. You're doing this, you're doing that. You're talking about brothers that's risking their lives out here on the front line, but you ain't doing shit or making rap videos and talking shit on YouTube and Facebook. You ain't doing shit. Go ahead. Thou no, wicked wait, servant. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Thou wicked servant. Thou knowest that I was an austere man. Oh, you are Take an up that I laid not down and reap me. That I did not so. You know, you know I'm a austere man. You know I'm gonna talk about that albino nigga that got the head shot and did the shake, rattle, and roll nigga drop, drop it like it's hot, motherfucker. If you gonna keep the white man on your side and a white woman on your side, you deserve every judgment that come upon you. Go ahead. Wherefore, then gave us not thou my money to the bank that at my coming. You ain't, you ain't flip my shit. You ain't got my money, ho. Hey, ho, you ain't got my money, bitch. Go ahead. That at my coming, I might have required my own usury. And he said unto them, that stood by, take from him the pound and give it to him that has ten pounds. Let me give what, 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 what brother said. All this shit they talk about, IUIC, whatever shit they said. Let me take that shit, and I'm going to give it to the brother that got shot six times. I'm going to take it from y'all and give it to the brother that got shit six times. Go ahead. And they said unto him, Lord, we have ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one which hath shall be given, and from him that hath not, even that he hath shall be taken away from him. So if you ain't putting in no work, if you did it before and you ain't doing it no more, they're going to give you a shit. The most high, by shimmer my shit, I got with shot. Going to pass that to the next man that can flip it. If you fucking up the pack, if you can't do nothing with that, we going to pass it to the next brother that's ready to risk his life for your how about shimmer my shit, I got And that's it. All right, con. But yeah, hey, and wait, the last one, the last one? But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So if you want to keep Esau, if you want to walk with Esau, and that day of the purge, when the fisherman is no longer outside, hey, bring that shit and bring them niggas to me, and I'm going to take their goddamn head off in front of me. What six shots to the guillotine? Go ahead, Maharaja. I just had to bring that out, though. All right, Con, Con. You went, you went, uh, I think you went a little hard, bro. But hey, you got to be who you are. I don't have a problem with that. You stop saying? Wait, but wait. You said you don't got a problem with a that, Maharaja. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs> have a problem. Have, if a man go, go, go hard, let him go hard. I mean, that's just what it is. You see what I'm saying? But then, you know, we have to address things that were said. You know what I'm saying? If anybody want to come up and, and rebuttal what you were saying, that's fine. That's all good. But, you know, um, the talent is not specifically saying I'm on the street corners which define my talents. 
It doesn't says that, right? You see what I'm saying? It doesn't say that, right? So our talents is, you know, letting the most our wisdom go forth. Because First Corinthians what is 12, was it 15? About the, I think it's 12, about the many offices. Some are what, prophets? We go out, we prophesy the word of the most high. Thus said the Lord, just that in third and old nine, reveal the secrets and things of that nature out to the people in the public, you know what I'm saying, and rebuking them in the gates and stuff like that. Then you have teachers, right? You have teachers, even though, you know, you start, I should see that teachers, right? All teachers is not going to be outside on the corners, right? You have some brothers that have great, excellent street teachers, but they are horrible teachers when it comes to this sitting down and bringing forth a script. And then I agree. Then there's excellent teachers that hey. cannot go outside and hit the corner. Hey, I gotta add something to what you're saying, Mahara Cop. When I was in H O H O D on 145th Street, right? When I was in H O D on 145th Street, 1999, 2000, 2021, before we went to Bushwick, and even when we went to Bushwick. And for those that don't know, do the research. I got the school in Bushwick. That was me as a young man. Ask, ask the elders. But I'm going to tell you how this. I used to go into the bathroom and have to put water on my face because some, some teachers was very boring in HODC. <laughs> in HOD, there was brothers that was teachers that I had to put water on my face so I wouldn't fall asleep. It was horrible. You know what I'm saying? How about that? Right. <laughs> right. And you, know, I, you know, I know about that. You know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? And you know what I know about that. So, you know, you got prophets, you got apostles, you got teachers. You know what I'm saying? You got ambassadors, you have evangelists, you have deacons, you have bishops, right? You got all these many titles, you know what I'm saying, offices that brothers can portray, even helps. You see what I'm saying? The helps is, is going to be be able to get the kingdom if he's giving up uh, he's charitable right he's making sure he's helping brothers and sisters financially whatever the case is or he's just there being someone that may help build a house like the brother was saying help provide homes or whatever the case is so there's many offices in israel right you see what i'm saying so we don't want to make we don't want to make sure that we don't offend without balance right we don't want to offend somebody and not put the balance on it because the people could take it in offense because when i came up we didn't have the music right we only we had daniel Allah and a couple of brothers we had one cassette tape when it comes to the music thing right yeah, and right. you know we listened to tupac biggie we listened to the regular shit new york you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying wu-tang whatever you know what i mean so but now we have, have brothers that that was allowed and took the initiative to be able to do music that probably did music in the world, and now they transformed the negative influence into a positive influence. That's I agree. Shabbat Shabbat vibes, peace day vibes, right? Righteous vibes. Yeah, and I that's agree. Totally. Totally. Music because you know what? Somebody's gonna hear that music and the beat might catch them, and they'd be like, "Oh, what? What is he talking about, though?" Boom, right? You see what I'm saying? And so that awakes awaken a lot of people too to pursue to see more about what the fuck is he was talking about in that song. And maybe that artist may have a channel where he's actually teaching. Now you have brothers that may do music, they don't got no teaching, right? But then you got brothers that may do music but do have teaching, right? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, even if they don't, I'm not gonna knock them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna knock them unless you try to knock me. Because I do everything. And let's talk about me. You see what I'm saying? I do it all. You know what I mean? So we don't we want to make sure that you know we have brothers that been a part of camps and congregations like Judah Mac and Moss. They was a part of a body, a part of a camp, a you know what I'm saying, a part of a structure of order. You see what I'm saying? That was building people up. And we have we go through different things and these different um organizations or congregation or it's, it's it really about it really comes down to the people right you see what i'm saying and brothers 
You know what I'm saying? I mean, I knew Judah Mack from the music when I first met him. And this is not, I'm not saying you, what you were saying, but it's about Judah Mack. I'm just saying something about Judah Mack. And when I first seen him in the purple round, like, damn, this brother, you know what I'm saying? T.I., you know, like, yeah, that T.I., you know, that T.I., you might say. Right? And the brother was spitting the flames and they was going against ISUBK. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of people gravitated to the music because I, because, uh, um, you know, GOCC was doing the music at first. Phenomenal um, musicians and everything. And then IUIC came and started rocking with the music. And then, uh, you know, we start rocking with the music. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, Marshall, Yashal, you know, and YMG, whatever the case, right? So it's all a, pro a progression of, you know, the work going out. You see what I'm saying? The scripture talk, talk about the music all in rock, right? It talks about the music. We have musicians that's in the scripture, right? That did music. We played drums before we went to war. So all this is a part of the, the, the nation. So they we don't want to, so we, let's, no. let's not just offend anyone for their particular office because you have an office right, right now and you develop more into your office wherever you was in the beginning to now and you have more things that Mosan may bring you to that you have to fulfill in your office, right? That's the many talents. You see what I'm saying? That's the many talents that we are given, right? You see what I'm saying? But like, of course, I understand the, the, you know, the spirit of how you come in because people speak against the camps. And they speak regardless of how the fuck you feel. And if, if you can speak how the fuck you feel against the camps, then don't get mad about how people speak against people that's not a camp or individual. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So let's just be fucking fair about that because I'm As not going to be unjust. We, we match your energy. We match your energy. Right. So I, listen, I'm not going to I'm not going to be biased about a damn thing. You see what I'm saying? Because if you can go hard on whoever, if you can go hard on this, then niggas can go hard on that. And that's just what it is. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to do I love this nigga. Do, is, what is his heart like? Is he really about the brotherhood? Is he really about the sisterhood? Do we really got my best interests at heart? You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Some brothers go through shit and they feel away and then they express the shit. You see what I'm saying? How they feel they want to express the shit. But I'm not going to get mad because a brother bang Malachi McAbee was going at one West hard body one point. He was doing fucking videos all the time. I was fucking with Malachi. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even go retaliate on him about the shit. That's what you doing that's how you feel right now whatever the case is then hey i ain't got to be the fucking or the spokesman for the fucking camps but it seems like i am kind of you know what i'm saying but whatever you know what i'm saying but he did his thing well, now when i was bombing on them niggas, i know yeah i know you like the rope and the tug of war right now between the camps and the individual life i know <laughs> i know you the rope. No, listen listen, <laughs> listen hey, i'll be a, I'll be a mediator I'll I'll be a mediator Cut. for the brotherhood. For the brotherhood. You see know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Cut. that's what's important. The brotherhood. All praise. All praise. But check yeah. this out. Yeah. Dr. Judah Mac is no hard feelings. I love that nigga. Even I, I never met him. You know what I'm saying? I never met him in person. I, 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 I don't know if I did. Probably have an option, I think. If not, I don't know if I met him. I think I did the one time. I don't know where though, but I love the devil. Tell him I won round one. I won round one. <laughs> one. You breaking up? You bre breaking up? Breaking up? Put this, get yourself together. You're breaking up. You can hear me now. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, say it again because you was breaking up horrible. I, Go ahead. I said. I said. I love you to Mac, but round one, I got him. I got round one. <laughs> hey, I'll you, hey, I got a hug for that. that hard body hey, boy. Hey, I got a hug for that, brother. Hey, if, hey yo, we can settle this in a battle rap, and you niggas ain't never heard me spit yet. He want to battle rap. Oh, three rounds. Three rounds, I huh? Hey, I got ghost riders, but, but, but though. But I got that's ghost, love, like, ghost that, riders. 
That's love right there. Listen. That's, yeah. That's love right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. Yo, I got I got nothing against that man, yo. We was bumping him. Yo, Yakov was bumping Judah Mac on the way up here uh -huh. with Truth Music. Uh -huh. And I was saying, yo, I sound just like T.I. and he's fire. He looked like, look like T.I. I sound like T.I. And that nigga fire. I said it. I don't right. got nothing against that brother. Ask Yakov. I got five witnesses. The most I say get two or more. I got five. You know what I'm saying? Right. I ain't got nothing against that brother. And that's just out of spirit role. But you can't get emotional with the big cousin. I'm and I'm saying cousin because I can't say I'm a big brother. I don't know his age. He might be old. Oh, oh yeah, then I'm not the big brother. I'm the big cousin. <laughs> I'm not the big brother. You know what I'm saying? I turned 41 July 9th, next Sunday. I turned 40. One. So I'm a youngin. I'm a youngin. You know what I mean? But all praise and honor, glory to the most high. How about Shimon Mashiach? I love that nigga. And if he get mad and I see him physically, tell that nigga I'm gonna put him in a fucking bear hug. I do push up. I do push ups at every gas stop. We do push ups at gas stops. Thirty minimum. A 30 clip minimum. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't got the banana clip in the AR. <laughs> everybody don't got the banana clip in the AK-47. <laughs> in the SK-47. But you got a 30 rounder. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas got a 30 rounder. It's only $15. $25 the most for a 30 round clip in the AR. So we doing 30 push-ups at every goddamn truck stop. Every every gas station. I love you, Judah Mac. You know what I'm saying? I know you watching, nigga. What, <laughs> nigga? I got balls, nigga. What, nigga? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's our love. Hey. Come here, Hey, I want to say something to the brother uh, Elijah. He was that Elijah is Isaiah. He says the box teaches you, but the most I gave you power. Get it in my heart. I just want to do this as a disclaimer, okay? Zabak and I are peers, okay? I actually came in the truth a few months before him. Or he came to the school after I came to school because his own testimony, you heard the word a minute. And he probably heard it before me in, in New York City. Okay, so we're peers, okay? The he, the the most high Yahweh by Shimon Mashiach Yahweh Shai taught me through the brothers that I seen on Forty Second Street, and I had a tape of their camp teaching and a flyer. You see what I'm saying? And, and then Naquam, the brother that was in um on the Mount Zion camp, watered me. And when I came up to New York City, I sat in the classroom and listened to the seven elders, Ari Yah, right. Masha, Arya, Yaikwab, Lahar, Yeshaya, Shah, and Kazak. So those are my, my teachers. Did I learn anything from Zabak? Yes, I learned things from Zabak because we was rolling together as brothers. You see what I'm saying? When I came and got with the brother in 2010 with House of Israel. You know what I'm saying? He's a phenomenal speaker, teacher. You see what I'm saying? He really don't do a lot of street, I mean, classes on YouTube. But he knows the scripts. He can. He's a good teacher, right? And he's a great street teacher. Okay. So I just want to just clarify that uh, he didn't teach me the word, brother. Just want to say that right now. Okay. You understand that? So we're peers. Okay. But all shot. All all glory to the prince and all that stuff like that. Cause we did uh, great work together. Well, we was together, you know what I'm saying, with the We Got Dex in the House of Israel back in the uh, mid 2000, 2010 on up. You feel me? So, all praise and glory to the brother and all that. You see what I'm saying? And um, Judah Mack is a soldier. You know what I'm saying? He just ain't want to feel like, seem like he's being contentious and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, Elder Ephraim, we, we all been on the call together. You know what I'm saying? So, this was a real fiery, 
fiery type of um conversation. And I understand from um Elder E, I mean um, Chief E from being representing of the camp and drew the back going against camps, speaking against camps, and because of you know being a part of the IUIC and different things like that. But I'm representing camps and we rock together. Now, if you want to fucking sell out on me after this fucking video, bro, I'm driving up to those on night, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm tell you that right now. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to forget my foundation. And that's just what it is. Without my foundation, there's no more horror car. And that's just what it is. You feel me? I'm just going to improve in my walk. You see what I'm saying? When it comes to knowledge, when it comes to brotherhood, when it comes to whatever else that the most I have for me. You see what I'm saying? Um, dealing with these brothers that's phenomenal in music you know what i'm saying engineering producing and things of that nature you know what i'm saying and and i'm having a great time with all the brothers that have influenced me when it comes to the music thing and stuff like that you see what i'm saying so uh, somebody else driving no, drive. so great conversation you see what i'm saying and yes points was made on both sides and they are right in their perspective you see what i'm saying right and at the end of the day, we have to provide the scriptures to, to back up everything that we say. You understand? And scriptures was brought out and things that was said. You see what I'm saying? So shout out to the brothers. Once again, that's on the highways and byways, banging them streets. Thus said the scriptures. Okay? Thus said Hamashiach and Hawashiach. All right? I can never speak against that. I will be a damn, I can, I, me, Morocco, never going to speak against that. Ever. You feel what I'm saying? In terms of them niggas being wicked or they going off and all that other scary ass shit. No, we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? And those brothers that have a different position, you know what I'm saying, to be speaking against um, uh, the characteristics of brothers, the characteristics of sisters, um, trying to help motivate and inspire brothers and sisters in marriages huh? and things of that nature like that. Okay. Being, being an example in, in those arenas, all praise and glory to the most high for those brothers. Music, whatever the case is, just understand that when we talk about Zephaniah 2 and 1, it's all, it's all about everybody. Right? All of us need to come together. And for the young prince unspoken, I've been talking about all of us coming together doing a unity. We all need to be keeping all three feast days together. I don't have a problem with that. Well, we, we, we Jerusalem, when it comes to tabernacles in Georgia, we hold that shit down. Ain't nobody tabernacles Fucking with HOI Tabernacles in Georgia. Let you know that. So, so, you know hold, on. so hold on. By you saying that, are you saying everybody is welcome to come to the um, the Georgia for the Tabernacles? Everybody in the right spirit. Certain niggas that get escorted out. We got guns on this side. It's a Confederate state. You know what I'm saying? So it's different now. But Judah Mac welcome. You know what I'm saying? Math well, well, Matthias is welcome. You know what I'm saying? What the, what the, the what's it called? The Ozarks? Ozarks. Yeah, hold up. There's, we the have, there's land. The Ozarks the Ozark. is welcome. The there's Ozarks is welcome. Yeah, the, hey, the, the, the land of the Ozarks have, we, we just plan on doing a tabernacles out there. You see what I'm saying? I guess he probably have the same sentiment. Now, we Jerusalem. We Jerusalem, though. And, and I, mean, I mean, if you want to take that title as Jerusalem is in, uh, you know, Georgia based off the climate and all that other stuff that they try to say. And, and no, I'm saying, I'm saying we Jerusalem because ain't nobody fucking with our tabernacle. Okay, that, that's good. That's Hey, man, that's yeah. good to have the confidence. It's yeah. all good. You see what I'm saying? Hey, listen, there's a, there's a challenge to Judah Mack. Okay. Judah Mack, Judah Mack, I'll bust your ass in dominoes, nigga. Copy cool, nigga. Copy cool. Dominoes, nigga. I'll break your goddamn table with a copy cool. Dominoes, Judah Mac, Tabernacles. Bring your ass, nigga. Stop playing. Bring your ass to Georgia. We in. We, we gonna be in Augusta, Atlanta. Bring it. Pastor Dow and GOCC and Jedediah and IOC. Hold, hold on now. Hold on, don't go, don't get ahead of yourself, Elijah Isaiah. Don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Because if y'all y'all come in there with the Medemites, listen, y'all coming in with the Medemites, 
Let's see this. Yeah. Y'all going. Yeah. Hey, you ain't going to make it. You ain't going to make it. Y'all, y'all going to meet. See, y'all don't know. We got, we got a, we got some, we got some six, we got close to the seven foot of niggas in HOI. But you see Preet the Bach and you see me, so you think we all short. We got some big niggas from Illinois. We got some big niggas in Augusta, big niggas in Atlanta, Alabama. We got some big front liners. If you come in there with some goddamn heathens, you gonna meet the front line and you ain't gonna make it. You just ain't gonna make it out. You gonna fumble the Ball, like Thurman Thomas and every Super Bowl. Just every, play, you know. Every we got Super the Bowl. We got the motherfucking Alabama Crimson Tide. We got some shit on this side. Just because you see the short niggas teaching, you ain't see the niggas outside the camera yet. <laughs> uh, hey, man. Yeah. Life is what you make it, and you, you ain't gonna make it if you come with some Esau. Shout out to Pastor Dow, shout out to GOCC, but you better come by your goddamn selves, nigga. <laughs> you better come by your goddamn self. Hey man, somebody saying take the phone away from me, from. They say take the phone away from me, from. <laughs> Ain't no elder dogs and all that shit like that. Eat them elders and all that. <laughs> hey. Nah, nah, son. Hey. Hey. Hey, you know how we keep niggas out? Without getting a charge? We shoot niggas with pellets and paintball. <laughs> the first one is shot is paintballs and pellet guns. You know what I'm saying? After that, good luck, nigga. <laughs> hey man, shout out to Elder Orb, shout out to Elder Chief E from in the building, HOI representing NY City, Brooklyn, not the Bronx. But you know what I'm saying? We out here. <laughs> we better say city, you know what I mean? Even though I'm in St. Louis right now, Lou, a St. Lunatic right now. You know what I mean? They don't like hearing that shit, St. Lunatic. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, all praise is going to the most high, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, brothers is on the highway. <laughs> Pray for this brother's sake to get back to Georgia. Where y'all at right now? We going through. We about to pull up in South Carolina. We coming through North Carolina. Going back to Georgia. We got my brother. He got a he got a stop in Atlanta at the HOI Atlanta school. Pick up his car. Then he going to Alabama. But we all stopping at my house. They got their cars parked in front of my crib. in Sparta, Georgia. And, and, and everybody's shooting out from there. All right, Con, that's what's up, man. And, yeah, man, it's a city boy that relocated, purchased some land out in the Killbillyville of Georgia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, helping for y'all, for those that don't know, Sparta, Georgia is 90% Jake. 90% Jake. Okay, all praise to go to the most high, brother. Hey, the, 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 the warden is Jake. The sheriff is Jake. The city councilman is an Israelite. He Old Testament, though. The city councilman is an Israelite, Old Testament. But that nigga can give him like four more years if we still here. Yeah, I will prepare. But if we still here, that nigga gonna be the mayor. And we're going to run an Israelite town inside out. God damn it. Inside out. Like Daniel, like Joseph, we're going to run this shit. We're going to run this city. Come on, man. Uh-huh. Gotta come down there and check out Sparta. Jo- hey, jo- you get a ticket. What? You get a ticket in our town. If we pull you over and you ain't got your fringes on, nigga, you heard? Oh, shit, boy. I'm, I'm about to get some goddamn uh... off. <laughs> oh, you get, you get a ticket, nigga. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get a ticket. I'm glad I'm in uh, St. Louis right now because they don't wear no fringes out here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro's gonna get mad about that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah, man. Hey, listen. Uh, uh, I'm a, I'm a holla at you, man. You know what I'm saying? This is good, man. I, I really enjoyed this. Yo, show, man. everybody. Yo, everybody, give. Aldo Mahara Kaw, Shala Wom, and Akumi Ashala. You ready? Akumi Ashala. Yo, Elder Mahara Kaw, Akumi Ashala. 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 Akumi Yo, tell you the Mac, I got a fucking bear hug for that nigga, you heard? Oh yeah, yo, I, 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 got you, I got you, I got you. Believe that he watches. He gonna watch the world. Moss watching. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call him brother uh, right now. I'm, he better answer the death. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, y'all be good, man. I pray, man. Let me know. Let, let us know when y'all got there safe, yo. I know y'all probably like five hours out, five six hours, no five hours. Maybe. Three, maybe three, four, maybe three or four. Oh, you could say you're going over Atlanta, though, right? Yeah, they going to Atlanta. I'm going. I'm getting off at Sparta. Oh yeah, so yeah, you right there. You ain't too far there. Like three, four hours. Yo, tell them, tell them niggas the Puerto Ricans is Israelites. You heard? <laughs> That's a whole other argument. You know the the, the, the We here, nigga. You can't. You know what? Them Spaniards, them Spaniards thought they got rid of the Tainos, the Arawaks, and the Borinquens, nigga. We still here. We still here. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, hey. And, and my first, my first, my firstborn child, mother Puerto Rican. So, I mean, these niggas, I guess they're saying she's not an Israelite. I'm an Israelite, nigga. <laughs> Fuck are you. Nah. Fuck all that. I'm an Israelite, nigga. <laughs> I'm an Israelite. <laughs> tell me, tell, tell me. All that. nigga, my last name, Deuteronomy 28. You know what I'm saying? Man, a lot of these niggas, I'm going to tell you like this, and I'm going to leave you with this, this one. A lot of these niggas that claim Southern Kingdom and Israel, they never seen their mother suck dick for crack. And I'm going to leave it like that. Y'all niggas ain't outside. I've seen a lot of Puerto Ricans. I've seen a lot of the. Dominicans. I seen a lot of Mexicans, mothers, suck dick for crack, nigga. Real shit. We Israel, nigga. We do the run of me 28. The curses. The curses this is what shall be a sign forever. Right. Right. And you know what it is. You know, I ain't never crossed over on that other shit at all. You know what I mean? So. The foundation is still the foundation, baby. Believe it. You know what I'm saying? It is progression. That's all. Stand firm, Prince. We up out of here, man. Salute to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. You heard? Good. Pour me a shot. Pour me a shot. Y'all about to see me a shot, bro. a thumb. Y'all about to see me a shot, thumb. Good. We out. So, yeah, man. Hey, this is a crazy video. It's a powerful video about men coming together, expressing themselves, man. You know what I mean? And hey, it is what it is, man. That's all I got to say, man. You know what I mean? So salute, shalom, be good. And yo, part two of that class is coming through. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the captain right there, Jeremiah right there, J Jermaine KJ um, Junkins. Uh, <laughs> I don't like saying that name, man, for real. But you know what I mean? All right, we did our thing last night. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to do a part two. We're going to bring out the history of war, the, the war history. You feel me? Uh, based off all the records that I have, man, that, that show certain concepts in the scriptures, man. You know what I mean? That, it, that, and that's what it is, man. And the Kingdom album is coming out soon. Most I will. Most I bless, man. Look forward to it, man. Put that in your car, man. You're going to jam from the first track to the end. And that's just what it is. And um, yeah, social support, man. Like for real, but we spending money and time and energy in this, man. It's not, you know, it is what it is. All right. So I'm about to go get me something to eat, man. Parlay and chill. 
I was going to do a class, but I guess this is somewhat like something. So I guess it's over for today. I'm just going to parlay and chill. Shalom. All praise. We out.